Ready? Three, two, one. Blast off. <laughs> <laughs> What's good, everybody? Welcome to Talk Rice to Me. I'm Jesse Chan. I'm Ashley Nguyen. I'm Mano Bovadia. I'm Jay Chan. I'm Vivian Nguyen. We do well, the first name, last name. That was. <laughs> wait, wait, say, say your last name one more time. Bobadia. Bobadia. It really is Boba. Yeah. yeah. Bro, I'm telling you, that's. Hey, you like Boba? I mean, that's what I'm saying. That's you're just like, you like Boba? That's I me. Do like Boba. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> he got the ultimate icebreaker last name. Have you ever exactly. used that as a as an icebreaker? Um, uh, people I work with just call me Boba because of my last name. Mm. Yeah. So it's just shorter to say. I mean, He's asking like, if you've ever used it to pick up girls. No, I haven't. <laughs> he about to. Dang. He uh, about to. You know the ABGs love the uh, love the boba. <laughs> I actually sure. don't like boba. Hey, you know what? But I'm a one off. We already discussed this. I don't hey. like the boba balls. <laughs> you don't like balls. No, I like the I like the tapioca, but not the. <laughs> actually, I like bowls, but it's but, a lot of sugar. Wait, so that's why you don't like drinking because of the sugar? Yeah, it's just a lot of calories. You can get like, you can get like with a 10% joint. Or like no, the, no, no. Zero percent sugar, sugar. I go full regular sugar. Mm. So, so I, do I do zero. I used to love boba. Like before I got to my car, I would inhale the first drink. So I always, always have to order two. That Same was, energy. Same energy. Dude, that's, that's crazy. Two no drinks? more. No more. <laughs> Bro, I, I don't, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Do you remember those days? Yeah, when we were like younger. <laughs> Are you talking about like TT Lounge? Yeah, like yeah. TT, TT Lounge. TT Lounge was good. Yeah, yeah it was good. Lie. TT Lounge. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like for the longest, for the hottest minute, like me, and my brother, whenever we go to get like smoothies, milkshakes, anything, we go to the store, and by the time we get home, it's done. It's gone. It's so done before good. I hit drive. <laughs> exactly. That's why. That's what. And the thing is, that's why you don't want to drink your calories, right? Yeah. You drink it too fast. And next thing you know, you're drinking like three cups. And that's like that's like fifteen hundred calories. Yeah. Um one of my uh friends, he uh he actually opened up the the Kung Fu tea at JMU, the one at Tech, one here in Mason, Virginia Beach, and he owns like almost like eighty percent of the Kung Fu teas around here. And he said that the taro bubble teas, just take a wild guess how much calories is in one of those taro bubble teas. My guess like five fifty. What size, what size are we talking? The, the yeah, small, what right? Size? The small, right? The, 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 uh, the regular? The regular, yes. Yeah. I'm going to say 550. She said 800? 800. I already know how much it is. Oh, you're closer. It's 1,000 calories. God damn. For the regular one? I believe it. For the regular, for the regular I never one. got the taro. That's after why that I don't day. drink the taro. I always get the taro. Nope. I always get the taro too. That or the honeydew. Yeah. All right. That's the why honeydew? I only get the, that's why I only get the teas now. That's why teasing you is nice because they have like the teas and I feel like yeah. less guilty. I'm like, it's not that bad. It's just like jasmine tea mm. with less sugar. So it's not as bad. I mean, you just get I the like 0% sugar. Yo, yeah, I get like the zero yeah. sugar. So, and then yeah. I just get, I sweeten it with the jellies. Oh, I no. stay away. It's the same thing. I for me with a taro, like I just don't really like the powder because it's like powder. It's not like fresh taro. You're drinking purple sugar. That's yeah, basically. What you're, drinking. you're drinking purple sugar. It's delicious though. <laughs> What's better, taro or ube? Ooh, Ooh that's hard. Lana, you want to chime in, Mr. Filipino man? I, I'm going to have to go with Ube. Um, <laughs> if he said Taro, he'd be freaking disowned. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to that. He is. When I like first met him, I was like, do you know the song Lemonade? Because all the Filipinos know that song. It's like their anthem. Wait, but like the, the Nav song? No, Lemonade. You know the... The song Lemonade that was like on the Tumblr era. Is it one, by like Jeremy this? Passion? Yes. Yeah. See? Oh, I don't <laughs> know that. Y'all know that song? I don't know that song. Wait, can you okay. can you sing? I don't know. Like, I barely know that song. <laughs> I don't know that song. I don't remember it, but I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's the Tumblr era. Don't don't bring it back up. <laughs> is, it Jeremy, oh, is it Jeremy Passion's? Yes. Uh, you know the song. I don't know. I wasn't part of the Tumblr era. Oh, oh. Part of the Swagapinos. No, it was not. Is that, was wait, not. Tumblr, it was, Tumblr was like, I feel like that was a girl's thing. No. Like, no, it was, like. It was everybody. It was yeah, everybody. but like Filipinos straight up ran Tumblr. Yeah. It literally, it felt time. like like an online high school community. Like everybody different, both coasts was so close. Like I knew a lot of people just from the West Coast and there was just random drama blew up and just who was dating who. And like they would just do like online meetups and like just, yeah, 
it was like a very close knit online community. And you were on there, right? No, I mean I like she I was. knew them, but I wasn't like up there. She was on yeah, sexy. No, I was not. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that archived. Someone go dig it up. Someone go dig it up. She's gonna bring it up until it gets brought up. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, speaking of music, so what was the song you said? Pineapples, lemonade, oh, lemonade. lemonade. Close <laughs> Why do I think of pineapples? But oh, anyways, what you, what you think about oh, y'all? Uh, <laughs> y'all ladies uh, were at Project Glow this weekend. How would you guys think? What's your take on that? Um, honestly, I thought last year's lineup was a lot better because I listened to more of the artists last year. So who but, was on last year that was like well, the one that you liked more? Dude, you know my favorite DJ, Martin Garrix. <laughs> <laughs> Was he really, he was in the last year? He was. And I went to his after party on a Sunday and I was dead the next day. Mm. Mm-hmm. Well worth. But you were there last year too? No, no. I sold my ticket last year because I, I just was never really into house. And then this, this year I just went for the vibes. Different experience. So I just didn't even know who was on the lineup. I just floating around. Did y'all, did y'all stay for some of the sets this year? We did. Yeah. And you lying. You said, I'm going to go straight home. Okay, Saturday, we kind of like went home early. Not really. <laughs> what do you mean? We like stayed for a 15 minutes Tiesto and then we kind of like dipped out. Only because we were like worried about the traffic and stuff like that. Plus we were tired, so. Where, where was it at? RFK Stadium in oh, DC. okay. Why don't you just take, just take the Metro? Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah. <laughs> but it's quicker in it's and out. so fast. I mean, parking wise, like. It took we, forever. Like, Sunday left before us the second day, yeah. and we got home before. Yeah. And On the metro? Yeah, she took forever getting yeah. back. Damn. And yeah. it was like 17 stops from where she was, like. Oh, yeah. They stopped, like, every stop for yeah. some reason. And we drove, so it took us, like, 20 minutes to get home. So it was not bad. Mm. I got a question for you guys. Y'all ever play the game Mortal Kombat? Y'all know Mortal Kombat? I vaguely remember it as like a kid playing that, but I played Tekken more. All right. So how come y'all was dressed like Sindel or like or like Katana from <laughs> from uh, Mortal Kombat out there? It y'all was look outside y'all was of our will. Y'all was literally out there like Well, you notice why <laughs> you notice why we were wearing shades and we picked the AM shift so, to not be seen. Yeah, so nobody <laughs> knows it's us. But it actually kinda worked. Like not a lot of people recognize us and we had no like input in our costumes, okay? We were just promoting for, you know, I Smoke and their distributors like Leaf Ninja or whatever. Yeah, yeah. that probably had a that's um, why. influence that's why, on why, it. Yeah. They look like Kanoichis are there. Yeah, but it was just funny because when I saw the pictures, I was like, why do you look at like Katana out there? <laughs> or, like, I didn't care. I was just like, you know, whatever. Like, you know what I'm talking costume? about, right? Yeah, Katana. Dude. But then she mentioned it was like cosplay and I was like, oh. Yeah, God. dude. I felt so cringe the whole entire time because I was like, dude, we're basically cosplaying. Like we're one of those people. No, nah, no, nah, because you're not really, co- <laughs> it's not as much as cosplaying because it wasn't modeled after like a certain person. Like, like you couldn't be like, yeah, that is exactly this person. Y'all just were True. fetishized. That's all. Mm. <laughs> that's honestly what y'all were wearing, so. Yeah. I mean, y'all was showing a lot of skin. Y'all, y'all, lot. y'all didn't feel like the cheeks were out. Uh, y'all don't have that BDE in, in those in the costumes. No, I feel like it's no. what I've typically worn. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I- it's more modest than what we've you're, <laughs> we're used to. Yeah, for sure. Speaking of which, <laughs> let's address that issue. Why do women do that? Why do y'all be going to raves, busting it open like that with both cheeks out? <laughs> With I mean, nothing on the titties. Y'all literally be out like like women be literally going to raves and like EDC and all these things with like both butt cheeks out. Maybe just a string covering everything. Free the buns. That's the first place I've I saw people just walk around with pasties mm-hmm. on their nips. No bra, just pasties. Just their. I feel like with that environment, like women aren't really like judged or like called like derogatory terms like they can just be free to like wear whatever they want because it's a rave like mm-hmm. you mean you want to be free you're on drugs you're probably sweating like <laughs> you want to look hot i mean okay when is the other chance that you're going to be able to do that in the bedroom at a strip club in mexico <laughs> in mexico <laughs> in mexico <laughs> anywhere warm <laughs> you know it <laughs> what do you think babe? why do you think girls do that um I don't know. I've always been an advocate of look good, feel good. So for me personally, you know, like I work out. So 
I look good, feeling myself. Yeah, I'll be a little exposed, but if I'm not feeling so hot, I'll be like, turtleneck it is. <laughs> You've been to a rave in a turtleneck? No. Oh, boss, not yet. It's not never yet. a turtleneck then. Not yet, it's but never you, a turtleneck. But you, but you get what I mean. <laughs> One day when you don't got the ACV pills, right? You're going to be like, all right, where, where my turtleneck at? Yeah, where my sweatpants at? <laughs> So both butt cheeks out. So if you if you're hitting the squats, you sticking both cheeks out. Right, left cheek, butt cheek, right. No, wait, yeah. what's the song? Left cheek, right don't, cheek. Don't left ask cheek. me that. There's a song. Right I, cheek. T pain is is old. I don't know. There's some words. I don't know. Something like that. All right. So let me ask you this: Are you guys doing it for yourself, or are you guys doing it for like to you know attract the boys? Oh, for myself for sure. Like I'm there to have fun with friends, enjoy the vibes, just. Yeah. I never dress for someone else. It's just more like yeah. just how I want to dress. Yeah. You dress to feel hot. Yeah. You dress to I feel mean, hot. I mean, I can dress in sweatpants and still feel the same way, but it's just. But you feel hotter. Yeah. True. And it's just like when <laughs> feel I'm always in this kind of attire, like it's rare that I get to dress different outfits like that. So I yeah, why that. not? Have fun. I feel that. I feel that. Yeah. But what about you, Lionel? Got Have you been to raves? I actually just went with them on Sunday. And that was pretty fun. Like, I was chilling. So. Was that your first rave? No, nah, it's like my fourth maybe. Okay. But yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, I came from something in the water like right before that. And it was like nice change of pace because like I was tired like <laughs> on Sunday. So it was pretty nice. Sorry. Wait, well, you said you went to something in water on Saturday? Yeah, I did. Wait, why so did you Friday and Saturday, and then I drove up Sunday morning to go to Project Glow. What the? Why is that? Um, you didn't want to stay for Sunday. Isn't Sunday like the the nicest day for something in the water? Like Sunday actually got canceled. So what? Yeah, wait, wait, it worked out. Tornado warning. Did you get yeah. to see Chris Brown? No, I. So I left before Chris Brown got on. No! I wanted to see, I just want to see ASAP Rocky. Uh-huh. And like, I stayed in the pit for, in the front for like eight hours. And I was like really tired. So I just wanted to see ASAP. So my mind was like, I need to see ASAP and I'm dipping. Uh-oh. So that's what I did. Yeah. Hey, who, else, uh, who else performed on Saturday? Um, He brought out, who was it? Uh, Busta Rhymes. Okay. Um, MIA. Mm-hmm. Um, I think. Oh, De La Soul. I don't know. And that then is. Chris Brown. I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a slut for Chris Brown. I know. Man. He is. I don't care. I'm, I'm a little salty. I, I would watch you. him in that tornado. <laughs> I me mean, too. I'm like, I don't care. I'm <laughs> going to see Chris Brown. <laughs> I saw, I saw like the, I saw um, TikToks of him like, like, like you know, crashing in there, and I'm like, oh my god. Wait, he what? He was like something to water this weekend. I he know. dropped yeah. in. But he dropped in. Like no, 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 no. I'm saying that like I oh. would go through a monster to see him. Oh, oh I thought you, I mean, thought you like, said like his. Yeah, he, I saw like, him crashing. I'm like, what? Crashing the uh, the set. Uh, oh, like, I thought crash, he like made crash. an appearance. Yeah, uh, I no, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just being dramatic. I'm saying by crashing <laughs> the set, I mean, he just made an appearance. I'm just saying, he's saying like two songs. I got you. It won't even like his good songs, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> I thought he was gonna play loyal or something like that. What did all, he play? I forgot. I'm not even the, sure. The uh, I don't know. I think you know. Speaking of Chris Brown, do y'all have y'all heard the hit, that little song that's been blown under the influence? Isn't that one of your favorite songs? No, I actually don't like that song at all, and I don't really? understand why it's blown up. Wait, is that the one that was like he made a music video for, like very recently? Very recently, with yeah. Chloe Bailey or some shit. I'm not sure, but I just know that like because that song is off of an older album. Yeah, but it just it's off of Indigo, and it just blown up now. And now he went he was in touring in um Europe. And it's called the Under Influence Tour, and he came out the single. But but this song came out like four years ago. Probably it's probably that's why he it came out again because he wants to promote his tour. Yeah, was I, that the one that got removed off SoundCloud that got like leaked? I'm not that's sure. I'm not sure. I just know that like I like. I love Chris Brown and I love everything he does, but I hate that song. And I'm like, dude, this, why is this song like so popular right now? It's not even that good. He made a whole entire tour out of it. No, I gotta, I gotta listen. Because under the home. influence sounds cool. Yeah. It does just, sound cool. Just just under the influence sounds cool. When you, yeah, when you go home tonight, pop on the song under the influence. It's like his biggest single right now, and you'll be like, this song is not even that good. I haven't heard it anywhere, bro. Huh? I haven't heard it anywhere though. That's yeah, my first have time you heard hearing it. it. I, I yeah. haven't heard that song anywhere. The only song I heard is like. Something about like Cupid and shit. Yeah, but I'm saying that the whole entire tour's name is called the Under the Influence Tour. Like he just toured all of Europe, uh, and the tour is called Under the Influence. 
by that song. That's like the number one single for that entire tour. Huh. Yeah, but, and I'm like, but I'm like, why? The song's not even that good. Maybe Europeans like that song. Why don't um, you ask him, bro? You should DM him. Yo, I don't even like this song. Why are you playing it, bro? <laughs> he's going to freaking read my DM. Come to be honest, man. Nobody. Yo, get Viv to do just it. Pay, just pay for a blue check for one day and see if he responds. <laughs> just pay for another blue check. Yeah. It's well, like, what, $8? Something like that. <laughs> well, anyways, let's go back. Let's go back to the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the rave costumes. Mm. Actually, I've seen some of your costumes. Your, your costumes be... Nothing. <laughs> yeah, no! <laughs> What I'm like, facts. There's less fabric holding it together than like, like. I don't know like, what y'all talking about. <laughs> homeless people wear more clothes than you. Yes, I, I'm like, I'm like, starving children in third world countries wear more clothes than you. I don't know what y'all talking Their about. Their floss is thicker than. I know. <laughs> I was like, hey yo, that's not even like a. It's not even hanging on my thread. It's just hanging on. I don't one, wave. I don't know what you're talking about. One <laughs> one strong gust. <laughs> one, one loud bass. <laughs> <Snaps>. <laughs> Boom. And she'd be headbanging too. I'm like, how does that stay on? I'm like, there's got to be like some kind of contraption within that just like keeps it saran wrapped to the body. I'm like, this is insane. Like if I wore that, I'd be, I'd be naked by the end of the, by the damn set. Viv, Very think, good thread. Viv, Very I think, thread. I think you pretty tame though. Really? You pretty tame with it. How so? Are my outfits? Your outfits are. Like, I haven't been to that many festivals yet. Did you Did you wear any uh, something anything like super super revealing when you were at Coachella? No, not this year. I think this year I wore what was the first day? First day was kind of Bad Bunny themed, so it was like colorful themed. So I wore like a red outfit. Second day was denim, so I wore like a fringe, white, cowboy boots and like a denim, bikini top. And then third day was my favorite. That was kind of like. Uh, desert camo so he did just beige and kind of that desert beige camo mm. faded look i feel With, like at coachella like you can't really wear like what you wear to like rave festival yeah it's not true. very <laughs> mortal combat that's true <laughs> mortal combat where are we going back to mortal combat oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah it's not those vibes it's more like boho very free just different kind of free spirited yes that's, yeah. the, that's the best yeah. way to explain it yep Versus Raves is like, oh, no, I'm free, free. Yeah. Coachella is like, I'm free with some taste. Rave yeah, is like okay. grungy, free, just whatever, anything goes. Coachella is kind of like, you know, fringe, mm. boho, girly, just flowery. Just, she said yeah. boho. God dang. Boho. That's not the words. Yeah. Last year at EDC, I twisted my ankle. Oh, God. All right. That, that, did you not know this? No, I didn't know. Yeah, I heard about it. I twisted my ankle on Friday. Cause I think it was, it was so chaos, like so much chaos and everything going on that like I didn't feel myself rolling my ankle until the I guess the morning after the first day and I tried to go to the bathroom and like whoa I, I like stood up and I kind of like just fell I'm like wow my ankle was like busted and it was kind of swollen but then I toughed it through and the second day I like basically spent the whole time sitting down so every time we went somewhere I'll get up I walk. And I'll sit down and I'll watch and I watch everybody rave. But <laughs> so I got a front row seat. So basically the whole time I don't see, I understand what, where Asian women, how they see raves. Now you see nothing but the back of heads. Yes. <laughs> right. Yes. But I got a front row seat. All I saw, because well, I was looking straight the entire time because I'm like, I'm sitting down. All I saw was just butt cheeks everywhere. That's a nice view, right? <laughs> yes. Literally, I literally <laughs> saw every girl's like butt cheeks in front of me. I'm like, what the <laughs> Dude, I'm about to be sitting down this whole entire time. <laughs> but no, literally all I saw, I was just sitting down the whole time. And I told my boys, and there was a couple of my boys who sat down. I was like, dude, all I see around me right now is just butt cheeks. <laughs> Left and right. wrong with that? I mean, like I said, y'all had it out. And I'm like, all right, if this is what you... Just appreciate the view. Just so appreciating the view. But all right, because you guys be wearing those outfits... Please tell me, y'all cannot lie. Y'all definitely do it to attract some boys. Don't lie. Don't even if it's a tiny little bit. What no. you think, lie? Do you think they be? You think they be? Uh, they be wearing like wear their, them skimpy ass outfits to, to, to like you know get the boys to come holler. I'm sure some girls do it for sure. I got something to say about that. I'm not. I've never. The more single a girl is, the less clothes she wears. Like if a girl's taken, I don't see her wearing like no clothes. Most of the time. I agree uh, with that. I'm, 
I was still kind of, I was still kind of dressing the same when I was. Are yeah. you? But you say you always dress tame. Or actually, I was just a little bit more tamed. Yeah. I'm always in a crop top, so you know. But I'm saying, like you, like I'm not. I don't see like when I'm at a rave. I'm not like seeing a guy with a girl, and the girl's wearing like no clothes, nothing. She wears like more. That is true. She wears I more. It goes from pasties to bra. You know what I'm saying? Or like it goes from thong to like mini skirt. Mm. I mean, it's still out. Yeah. But it's just less out. On that note, I will, I will expand on that. I have a I have a personal rule when it comes to women, yeah. when it comes to clothing. So like when we go, if we ever go out any type of setting, yeah. if a woman is wearing pants, I will not talk to her. Why? Because pants. Basically, I would still because, look good in pants because like of because of basically what the, uh, also depends <laughs> on the season. Because uh -huh. usually, usually whenever you like go to like like social spots or whatever, right. if they're single and they're ready to mingle, yeah, they're showing skin. They're wearing like a like a skirt, some type of dress, right? Fair. And then the ones that are basically taken, they ain't putting out like that. So they're wearing jeans or like long pants. True. I'm telling you, it's like as Jay, every single, it's not a hundred percent, but yeah. like the majority of people that wear pants that I've seen are a boot up. So that's why I, I if they were in pants, I don't even bother to say nothing. I don't know, you man. Know? I was a cloak and dagger looking like this. But you, you an exception. <laughs> You Why is she an exception? I, there's, there's, there's no <laughs> exception. Different. If it's like, if it's like white pants or like leather pants, those are like kind of. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Kind of you're right, you're right. It depends. But, yeah, go but ahead. they're like blue jeans. Nah. Who or they're like sweats. Gonna be dressy. Blue jeans gonna be dressy. I've never. The trend's I never wear jeans. Casual. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. But, but like, yeah. When was the last time you was you was actually like in a full on relationship though, cuffed up like cuffed down official relationship? Oh. Been a while, exactly, <laughs> and it's been a while since you wear blue jeans, right? That's what I'm saying, dude. I never really wore jeans like at all. Like I don't find jeans comfortable. I think the trend's coming back though, just like light wash blue jeans, like that's a more jeans, casual yeah. look. Yeah, but that's that's what I'm saying. The females that be going to like clubs and stuff like that, they wearing jeans. They're trying to look nice, but not like too nice. But they're trying to attract too much attention, in my opinion. They're trying to look presentable, but not hoey. That's that true. That's true. Like if I'm with somebody, I try to just like not that they care. And then not that I would care, but just kind of like a unspoken respect type of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For example, there's another example. There's an exception. Um, sometimes if it's like the female's like birthday, mm -hmm. oh yeah, she going like whether she's taken or not, the birthday girl always stunts the hardest. Yeah. Have you seen my outfits? I, right? <laughs> Go ahead. Isn't it always a red dress? A red dress? I swear, whenever I see it's a girl's birthday, it's always a red dress. Or white. I've noticed white it's always a white dress, too. I feel like it's black. Really? I, I see red or white every time. Really? What yes. kind of parties you Cause they be Because they yeah. be popping more. Those colors be popping more. Like, Because yeah. uh, usually, most of the times, people, when people go to, uh, like, whether you're a guy or yeah. a girl, they wear black. Yeah. Yeah. Think about it. Every Kevin Nguyen wears black with a gold chain. <laughs> That's facts. Yep. That's facts. That's facts. Am I right? It's yeah. kind of cringy. And then like whenever you go to you go to any place, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say 80% of the guys wear a black t-shirt or a black shirt of some kind. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I wore that red two-piece in Miami the last... It wasn't red. It was kind of like pinkish red. red is but, you won't wear, but you won't wear in black though. Right, am no. I right, Lionel? You, you go out, see everybody, I, almost, I'm actually, I'm going to say 90% of the people wear black. Yeah. And the, one, and the ones that want attention ain't wearing black. They've been wearing white. They're wearing something vibrant. And if it's the girl's birthday, the, girl's birth, the girl is not wearing black. I usually wear black or a yeah, color. Yeah, sometimes it's slimming and it looks good. Yeah. But just start, it just depends on the That's, outfit. I think yeah, it depends is, on like what you're wearing too. It is. I think it is because there's, you're slimming, you know, have yeah. one too many tacos, looking a little bloated out there. <laughs> <laughs> or, it's, or if it's like, you know, like the black lace, like just whatever you feel like wearing. Yeah. I, suppose, I, I give credit to girls, man. When they go out, they, they try to wear nice clothes. It's always like form fitting versus guys. Like I can wear just a t-shirt. Like I could be bloated as hell. It don't matter. I'm just wearing a t over here. <laughs> this is true. But the thing about you always wear, but it's usually if you feel like you ain't, you feeling off that day, you're wearing black. No, I'm wearing just a nice jacket. Or this like, is true. Or, or, or a nice button. jackets, yeah. Or I'm a button up. I this got the true. button ups. That's about it. With like the, the two buttons. As, li as little buttons as possible. <laughs> yeah, girls girls have crop tops. There's no hiding. But see, <laughs> There's no... But see, that's also the thing that like, um, no, no, no. Let me let me address that. The crop top is a, is a lie because y'all be pulling up your pants all the way past your belly button. Y'all be, be hiding everything. You mean Not the high-waisted pants? It's just the yes. high-waisted. 
That's Am I right? Good. Like you yep. can't yeah. you can't pull a low rise bottom up to be high rise. That's why I mean that's the, why y'all because the inseam can only go so high. That's it's why y'all only be wearing high rise. Though. Yeah, that's why the girls only be wearing high rise and they baggy as hell. I mean, the look, I honestly, personally, I think the baggy look looks better than wearing like super skinny jeans. Like it just doesn't look right. That's facts. I feel you on that. I, I feel like I'm going to get canceled for saying this. But it depends on probably style too. <laughs> preference. It's, yeah. like, it's also like hard to style like super skinny jeans too with like shoes. I like think it just doesn't look right. It's always heels for y'all. Heels The are trends have definitely changed like. A few years ago, whenever we went out, I've always worn like black skinny jeans, and then now I've definitely transitioned more into white, like looser je- like pants yep. and stuff. It looks good with sneakers. Yes, it's so much yeah. more comfortable. This is true. Yeah, but so still. now skinny jeans look kind of weird with sneakers. So I do like it does kind of look more flattering in heels. Yeah, I can feel that, but still, that is not that does yet. Guys have not disproved my theory that if the pants equals relationship or taken. Not necessarily taken, but like probably got like a man's or something. Not interested. Not yeah, interested. yeah, yeah, exactly. Don't pants, approach me. Pants, <laughs> pants, no, pants, equals, <laughs> pants to me equals red red flag, not red flag, stop sign saying I got probably a man's. If it's not official, I probably got a man somewhere that I'm not interested in. Like, what if it's cold me. outside? Hey, that means if a girl in the middle of winter in a miniskirt... Yes, absolutely that, not. That's the, absolutely, no, absolutely that's not. That's the thing. That's the thing. If you go in and in, in like late, late fall in the winter time, and you see these females out here wearing skirts, oh, they ready, Freddy. They are ready, Freddy. Me, I think me and Viv are like that. Like in our college years, where we like wore skirts during the winter time. It's, it's so different. Like I remember, it would be in a blizzard, and I'd be in stilettos and a skirt. But and now I'd be free. I was freezing, and I busted out my Uggs today. But let me ask you a question. Was you ready though? Like you you was down to get hit on when you was like that. Yeah, it was. I mean, it was a different time in my. It was a different time in my life. Like college, I <laughs> wanted to point. like. Honestly though, but I feel college like- me compared to now, like what ten plus years later, it, I'm so like we're so different. Like I was out back then, kind of like, like trying to look for eye candy, and now I'm just out to enjoy with friends. That's the thing. Actions speak louder than words. And you just said you was out there just like that. And Ten you was, years and you, ago. And, and, and te- it doesn't matter. You still did it. You, you just validated my point. <laughs> See, you, you know what I mean, Ashley? You was out there. I guess, tri- I guess age plays on. a factor too. Admit it. You was out there looking for, you was looking out there. You, age you, definitely you, plays a factor too. You was trying to catch too. some eyes out there. You was trying to catch some eyes. Yeah, back then. <laughs> but you, if, you wasn't, if you wasn't trying to catch some eyes, you wouldn't be dressed out like, like that. It's yeah. such a different perspective when you're that young. Yeah. And then now when you're older and you're out, like it's it's so much different. I mean, for girls still, especially. Well, I mean, if, whether you're wearing pants or a skirt, you still get hit on if you're an attractive girl. Yeah, so. I've, yeah, I've been hit on on anything. Yeah. Just this, whatever, grocery I'm, store. I've worn dress pants and my ass still looks good in dress pants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, okay, okay. I don't got to wear a skirt to show off my ass. I can wear dr- pants. Getting hit on. <laughs> let's let's talk about that. What is what is the most creative way anybody's a guy has ever hit on you or pickup lines? Does anyone ever get like drop some crazy pickup line on you? <laughs> Dude, I don't I don't get those often. I've know. gotten like cringer laughing ones, but I wouldn't entertain it. What's the most cringe one? I was out of town at a club and we were leaving and this guy, we were leaving us with my group and this guy goes, oh, excuse me. Hey, miss. And I was like, oh, like, hi. And then he goes, you drop something. And of course, like out of town, I was more concerned with like dropping my belongings. So I fell for it. And I was like, what? And he goes, my heart. And then I was like, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All right. I know someone who's used that before. We, right. we know him. Who do you think used that for? Was it Dara? Yeah. <laughs> yo, yo Dara got out. some crazy pickup lines. I've I've had some crazy ones. I think another recent one was some. Just he said something with diarrhea, and I was just like, "What? What?" He was like, you, it was like something like, "You're like, or diarrhea, like you make me run." Or just, I, don't, I don't know. I'd have to find it. That's again. nasty. But I was That's just disgusting. Like, this is nasty, but this is the first I've heard it. So I I'll can- give you creativity for that. But no, <laughs> I can think of two pickup lines right now that Dara has dropped. One, oh he said, um, basically, you see the girl that you like, right? You basically, when 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 she's looking at you, you start walking toward her, and then you trip, and then you go like, "Oh, I'm falling for you." <laughs> that sounds like a Dara joke. That sounds like a Dara pickup line. Classic Dara. <laughs> Classic Dara. 
Um, I think another one was uh, uh, he uh, he said he went up to a girl and he said, "Can I follow you on IG?" And the girl says, yeah, uh, "Why?" Because like because my mom told me to follow my dreams. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, oh Dara. Speaking of that, what are your <laughs> go-to pickup lines, guys? <laughs> I don't use pickup lines. You want? You've never tried one. You've never I'm tried ever? one. Ever. Jay, as long as you've known me my entire life, have I ever used a pickup line? No. Yeah, I don't, I don't use think pickup so. lines. I've tried a, a couple times. Have you failed miserably? Hey, one time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so they've all worked. <laughs> one time. Let's see. Uh, I mean, I haven't tried any like creative pickup lines. Like, I always like if it's like. <laughs> I remember back in the day on Facebook, there was like was it, like subtle Asian something like people would just post their friends up. Oh yes, uh, okay. Soul Asian uh, dating. Yeah, yeah. So someone posted a picture of their friend up on there, and someone was like, "Hey, yo, man, that girl got a, f- a fat ass." I'm like, "Okay," and they put her IG on there. And I basically went and followed their IG. She followed me back, and I DM'd her, and I, <laughs> I sent a picture of a of like a of a Lamborghini or like a Ferrari, and then sent another picture of like a crashed Ferrari, oh. and I was like, "Oh my bad, crash your DMs." <laughs> Nice. <laughs> I said, "Hey, can I use your phone? Because I need to call like someone to pick me up or something like that." And she's like, "Yeah, only if you get the car. If you if I can keep the car, I was like, yeah, you got to pay for repairs." And like, the conversation went on for like, like a little bit after that. I think I've used that, and then yeah, you were smooth with it. <laughs> I mean, it was it, after a while. I'm like, "Yo, this girl lives in Toronto. There ain't no way I'm going there to like to holler." And I don't I don't feel like paying to fly someone out at the time. Mm. So yeah. yeah, and then another one was. Uh, this actual one that I think Dar and I both talked. I don't think Dar's ever used it, but basically you put a dog, you put, you post a picture of like the emoji of a dog in someone's DMs and like, what? Well, hey, sorry. Looks, it's, you basically say something like, hey, my bad. My dog is like lost in people's DMs sometimes. You mind like, uh, like let me give him back to me or something like that. There's what I, forgot. <laughs> I haven't used it in so long that I don't even know now. I don't. I don't do that I sure stuff. I hope you don't ever use that. I don't use those anymore. <laughs> I, it was, know, it was I, a different time. I know of another one that Dara has used. Oh he God. says he basically he like sends like uh like I think it's either the basketball emoji yeah. or like a oh little, balls in your court. Just ba- yeah, just yeah. balls uh, into yeah. the DM goes balls in your court. Yeah. yeah. What about you? I've never used any pickup lines. So how do you get girls? <clears throat> Just look at this man. He's a specimen. <laughs> Me, I don't, I don't really be trying to get girls like that for real. I feel like all guys say that though. No, for real, I don't. Like. True, I would say this: the less you try, the better, easier it is. Yeah. The more you try, that I swear, y'all girls can just smell the desperation. Smell that. I'm like, <laughs> right? Damn, I mean, you guys can, right? You guys can smell the desperation of a guy if he's trying too hard. Yeah. It's Irish. It's just kind of cringe. I'm just like. Yeah, see, yeah. randomly like turned off. Like, yeah, yeah. Right. and that's that's why I don't use pickup lines. If I'm interested in a person, I just go up there and talk to like a normal person. It's like, yeah. hey, how you doing? What's your name? Yeah, I'm I think, You know, like here and there, it's cute. Just don't like overdo it. Yeah, you got to think about it, Jesse. When I used those lines, I was like 23, 22. <laughs> I really yeah. hope you don't use it now. And it was and try to DM someone that you've never talked to, never seen before, and lives in a different country. Yeah, you got nothing to lose. Yeah, see, yeah, you got nothing to lose. I mean, if you smooth with it, you smooth with yeah, it. Yeah, have fun. I, it was I wasn't that smooth because I never saw. Her. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you're watching this, what up? <laughs> uh, if they have early, you said you was out of town. Let's uh, let's take it there. All right. Do you guys feel like whenever you guys are away from home, away outside of DMV, you traveling, you like having a, like a friend, like a like a. Um, group travel thing and you guys in a different environment and you out there mingling don't you feel like y'all got like a different type of energy like it's just like a different type of energy like you feel more energized you feel like you could do more you could feel like you could be more aggressive it's called the out of town energy the okay. acting up energy yes the out of town energy or the acting up energy do y'all feel like that yeah i mean you're in a different state or country nobody knows you hopefully <laughs> You can pretend to be a different person than you are when you're back at home. Yeah, and just exploring like a city or destination anywhere with friends, it's fun. Mm. No, I agree. I agree with both of them because especially if you're in a club or in a bar or whatever, right? You're not like, oh, yo, if I fuck it up, I'm going to get banned from this spot or some shit like that, right? <laughs> if you out of town, you're like, bro, I'm going ham up in here. 
Like, I'm going right. crazy up in here. I'm talking to everybody. I'm I'm freaking. Jay's shooting his shot out here. Yeah, oh, Jay, <laughs> Jesse. You know I'm just you're going ham. You're just talking to everyone and anyone. And you never know who you're gonna meet. So it's definitely a different type of energy when you travel. Definitely. Every time we go see, we go somewhere, I f- it, it's not only me. I feel like that the whole group is like that. Everybody's on demon mode. Yeah, I love it. It's demon it's time. I mean, you go on a vacation. It's a great time. You don't take vacations often. I mean, yeah. Every, do you feel like that, Lionel? Yeah, I agree. Like, my friends and I go crazy whenever we travel. Like, when I was out in Asia and stuff, like, we were out in Korea. We just go ham. We didn't give a f- what people thought. Wait, wait, wait. Give me, give me a, a Korea story. Let me, I, was it Seoul? Korea? Yeah, I went to, like, Hongdae and Itaewon. Okay. Like, I've been to Busan. Okay. I partied out there, but... Give me a story. Give me a story about a club. This has got to be a story. Craziest thing that ever happened to you in Korea? Um... When I was with my cousins once, and we went to this club. It's called International in um, Itaewon. Isn't that one of like the? It's one of like top hundred clubs, isn't it? I think so. It was like it was packed in there, but I don't know what was going on. But like, I think my cousin was trying to stop somebody from like fighting, and I ended up uh, like shoving those dudes to the ground. And someone else came, like shoved me, and I was like on some shit. Like, like I just grabbed the dude by his neck, and I guess I threw him like for some reason. But I was like. Shit like that, you know, like you get in fights. Koreans don't give a f- they're not like Japanese people. Like, um, Koreans will talk that shit, they're about it. Like, Japanese people, they're just to themselves. So, it gets aggressive out there. Everyone's on soju. <laughs> like, I've been to clubs where I've cut, like, come out and it's like 10 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. I can't do that now. Like I, I just feel tired. And hey, 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 among with the right things and the right you know motivation, I'm sure you could. Yeah, I'm with sure the you right could. Environment. Yeah. I'm sure you could, man. Don't don't limit yourself. Come on now. If you're with a group of friends that are about it, like you'll keep going. Yeah, for you, sure, you'll but. feed off each other's energy. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So. I, I have a question for you. You Go said ahead. you uh, you lived in Japan, you lived mm-hmm. in Korea, and you yeah. li- and you lived here obviously in the United States. Yeah. What is the difference in like from a guy's perspective in say hitting on girls in Japan, Korea, than here in the United States? The girls in like Korea and Japan are more aggressive. What? Like, what? Like I'll be walking in Korea, they'll literally like grab me and like they'll like start hitting on me and stuff. Like it's crazy. Yeah. And then like even like <laughs> Japanese like girls, they're like that too. Like I've actually heard that. I've actually heard that somewhere. They say that like everywhere outside the United States, women hit on the men. Hey, yo, I'm out of here. <laughs> like, yeah. like, 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 right? Only they say like only United States do the do basically do the women just basically get way to hit on, while every other country, like women chase men, not the other way around. I'm like finna, he was here. I'm finna brush up on every single Asian dialect I know right now. <laughs> Asia toy. Yeah. Yeah. Asia toy for sure. <laughs> You go down to like a uh, Seoul, like Itaewon, mm-hmm. you're guaranteed like girls will just go up to you, like a guy, and hit on them. They want you. Like, there was like a girl that hit on me, and I found she had a boyfriend. Like, he was calling her. It like it had like it said like babe or something with a heart, and he came over there. I'm like, dude, this girl was like literally hitting on me. Like, yeah. So they don't care. Toxic They're just out about there. that shit. Like, well- we see summer 2023 Jay in Asia. You know what's up. Mm-hmm. Hey, you got mm-hmm. it, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no promises. I'll come back, guys. I'm sorry. No promises. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a permanent bachelor forever. I'm out there. So this this is what I think. So whenever we travel in the past, um, whatever, and all of our trips that we've ever been to, whenever we out and about, because we are naturally, we care, we as people care about what other people perceive us as or other people's opinion about us. Luckily now, I really don't care. Like, yeah. I mean, right now, as you get older, you realize that other people's opinion doesn't mean... It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Like, yeah. I think people, a lot of people in our, our age group and younger, whatever, they spend so much time thinking about... Um, caring about what other people think about it but my right. brother said this he said if you think about it like a couple of years ago if somebody had a perception on you or some type of judgment on you after maybe a year or maybe two years they completely forget about it yeah like we are none of us are relevant enough where we are constantly on somebody else's mind where they like constantly, oh yeah he's that person's a dick that person's a dick or like she's an f bull f girl or she's an f girl i feel like some people live rent freeze in other people's minds 
I think I, I'm talking about in a general public because like I'll say like this when we are here in the DMV and like in the, in the old days when we at uh, El Park right R.I.P. Every, man every, my second every, home R.I.P. but every everybody would always be on their best behavior because you know that in that place you, you slip up one time Everybody and their mama gonna be talking about you the next day. You gonna be in ten different group chats. That's facts. Like, oh, did you see this person do this? Did you see this person kiss this person? Oh, did you see this person? This person? Yeah. Everybody gossiping yes. like crazy. Facts. That's why sound check was better. It was yes. dark. <laughs> I never saw anything. You never saw shit. <laughs> yes, but when we was uh, whenever we traveling, like when we was out in L.A. Mm -hmm. or was it out in Toronto or anywhere in New York, look, the leash is off. Like we, you're like everybody's dogs, females and males. Viv, don't be acting because I, I heard you. I've heard we we've been traveled before, and Viv's like, where are the boys at? <laughs> <laughs> she yeah, be, be shaking it. I'd be, be like, there it. are no cute guys here. I think when we went in New York, I don't think, yeah, I didn't get approached on at all. I saw stairs, but I feel like maybe they were shy to approach me. There was one guy that came up. He was just like, oh my God, like you're just so beautiful. And then there was like an older guy that kind of looked like an uncle, which is kind of like like nodding in like agreement. And I was like, oh, like he was like really sweet, like kind of young looking, but he was not straight. So I was like, I appreciate you. You know, that was cute. I seen cute. it. I remember, I literally overheard you. I'm just in there chilling and all I hear is you. And I hear Nicole walk away. He goes like, where the boys at? I'm gonna go find the boys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, we're like, let's go by the bar. <laughs> I was like, oh, did I hear that right? Oh, there they go. <laughs> oh, is that they... the plan? Is that the plan? Oh, where the boys at? To the bar. And you just sit by the bar until guys see you. I'm no, we to... were just like changing scenery because we were like in one area and mm -hmm. just transition to another part of the club. It was, you was definitely on the prowl. I literally watched you walk. Make, I, I literally watched you make a full round around the whole thing. Make sure you scoped out the whole seat. Did not <laughs> see anyone. You were looking in every single <laughs> nook and cranny for all the cute, the cute boys at... <laughs> God, <laughs> not like that, but just I enjoy the eye candy. You was but peeping. did not, girl. Did you not was, peep any. You was no, but you was. You may not have peeped any, but you was peeping. Let me ask y'all and the two. Just named a bunch of cities. What's like your favorite city when it comes to like eye candy? Eye candy. Yeah. What's your favorite city when it comes to eye candy? Not to be mean, but I was like, I don't think I've seen any. Yeah. Out of all okay. the places I've traveled, not really. Like. Whenever we went to LA, I was always like, where are the cute guys at? Like, yeah. I don't see any of the cute like, guys. They are hiding like, New York, Miami, yeah. Vegas. Vegas, I was like, I must have gone at the tail end of the season because like, they nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Every, everywhere, nowhere. Dre's, Encore, hiding. Yeah. Actually, I want to ask you this. I feel like every time we travel, you always drop this line. These cute, these boys aren't even cute. <laughs> <laughs> you always because they're not. <laughs> Every single time we travel, like nine times out of ten, you always said, these boys ain't even cute. Because they're not. We're blunt. <laughs> yeah. All right. So so let me ask you, out of all, the, like Jay said, out of all the cities, all, all the places you've been, which place got the cutest boys? They don't got to be like, oh, they like, they're all bad. But like, which one place y'all went to? They were like, okay, there was more good looking people there. I feel like California. Okay. Like LA, because there's like more people there. Mm-hmm. And yeah. obviously their main focus is to look good. <laughs> LA okay. and San Diego, yeah. those two. Like I didn't see any cute guys at the clubs or bars, but I saw them at the gym. The same for San Diego. Like I went, I have national pass for 24. So I just went to like a nearby one and I was like, oh, this is different than the did one here. Did you shoot your shot? Did you like you know like seductively <laughs> with, your, no. with, your, with your booty parked up walk in front of them no i was on a <laughs> trying to catch their eye <laughs> I, was like you stretching. I was on a time crunch let, 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 let me pull these <laughs> leggings up and do a nice little hamstring stretch real quick yeah you doing curls i'm doing hip thrusts i'm doing i'm doing, I'm doing lunges over Chest here day, it's leg day yeah, now there you go <laughs> no i was on a time crunch and usually i get gym shy just trying to like find my way around the machines because all the layouts are different I don't know. I'd be awkward. What about you, Lionel? You you a uh, you a well traveled individual. Where's your favorite? Where's your favorite place to be? Or like, what do you think the most attractive women are in your opinion that you've been to? I don't know. That's tough. I, I, like, you can give me a top two. You can give me a top two. Like, 
Maybe like California. Okay. I don't know. Like Southern California. Okay. But yeah, that's probably it. Goddamn, them vitamin D rays, they do something to the people's skin, huh? They what about for you guys? <sighs> Top cities for cute girls? I got, I can name two. Same. Mine is two. I have two. Any guesses? Toronto. Yes. Yes, that's one of them. I know, because one of my, I have some friends there, and every time I see your stories, I'm like, it's definitely Toronto. Yes. Is Toronto's. it New York? Huh? Is it New York? Yes. Yes, I knew it. Some, <laughs> something in the cold air. It's, I don't know, like, um, I feel like when it comes to LA, New York, the, the look is different. Yeah. Yeah, I, definitely. Yeah. Personality is different, too. Just from speaking from, I had some friends that lived in New York. I will also say I've only enjoyed the nightlife in LA like for two days. And every other time we go out, it's always like on a, because the times that we've been, it was like the one time we went and we actually enjoyed the weekend. And other, other than that, it was a like Coachella weekend. Mm -hmm. So we would go like on a Tuesday. Like we went out in LA on a Tuesday to some speakeasy. So it's not like as cool. And then New York, we've been like so many times on the weekends mm -hmm. to like some prime spots and got on hella tables. So of course you get to see like, Prime don't women. Say mission. No, not no, mission. No, not Thank mission. God. Other places. <laughs> My God, I hated mission. I've been to Slate and uh, I, other spots. Was it Den Social? Yes. Yeah, been Den Social. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm not really that high on Den Social myself. Mm. I think that Den Social. It's a, it's a it's a nice spot. It's got solid, but I don't like how everything's segregated. How like yes. when you're on the A section, literally you stay in the A section. Oh, you can't the, move around. The, uh, yeah, like, no, you you can, but it's so tight. Oh. It's like once you once you leave, it's it's so congested in that little, little dance floor area that even you can't even get in there because it's so congested. Dang. And then like and then the upstairs, you get the B section, which is upstairs on a balcony. Mm -hmm. Literally, like you're looking down, and so you're like completely on a different island by yourself. So mm -hmm. it's like it's so it's so hard to mingle right. from like around the area. That's why like when this girl walked off and said, "I'm going to find myself." Some I was just gonna say <laughs> that's why I was making I know, my tour. I know, and I was like, I was like, I mean, in my mind, I was like, you ain't gonna find. I was scoping, I was scoping for fun. That's I wasn't true. gonna shoot my shot, but just appreciate the eye candy. Ain't, yes. ain't no girl gonna be looking up at the balcony like, damn, what's like the, 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 uh, there, did, man? I'm not gonna lie, I did. I was like, I'm finna find my there? Julius Caesar up in that bitch. <laughs> uh -huh. I did. I did. Finna go like this. <laughs> I did peek up there. I was like, let me see what I can see that I can't true. see. <laughs> I, I will say that. In honest opinion, I think that there are beautiful women in everywhere. There mm -hmm. are beautiful men. Yes, I said beautiful men because men are beautiful too. All right. Beautiful men. And I think there are beautiful women no matter like everywhere you go. But I think that the only difference is um, depending on whatever flavor you like, some places got more than others. You know? facts. 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 So like if you in LA, there's just, there are beautiful women here just in LA. There's just more of them yep. yeah. in New York. They're just more of them. And I would say, me and my brother have talked about it before. When you stay in the area for long enough, like we've been here for in the DMV for what, 10 years? Y'all been here, Viv, what, eight years? Five years. Five years. You lived your entire life, right? My entire life. Yep. I feel like <laughs> the longer you stay somewhere, the less attractive the women get. Yes. Same with the guys. Yes. But, kind like, of, but there's always such, there's always new people moving in the area just because, especially where we are, it's such a hot spot. Yes, yes. But, but when I'm saying they're less attractive, not as in like, you, like they are becoming less attractive, but just in my eyes, they're becoming less attractive because I see them more. Yeah. And then when I, when I'm, when I travel, when I go to other spots, like it's your first time seeing them and you're like, oh, something new. And that demon energy start coming like, like oh, exactly. I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm exactly. in a new spot, got that new energy, ain't nobody around here to judge me. The little mm -hmm. horns come out. Yeah, yes. the little, little horn comes out. Bring, hey, yo, bring out the Hennessy. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No more Hennessy Only ever tequila. again. Only tequila. No more Hennessy ever again. Only tequila. And then, yeah, you know, the little horns come out the different that you just feel like you just want to go out there and explore, meet new people. Yeah. People look better. But New York still got the best looking people. Honestly, I think so too. New York does. But in terms of like, I guess like guys wise, I haven't really like found like a city where it's like, oh damn, like the guys here are beautiful. Yeah. Hot. Right. I need to I'm move ready. <laughs> That's what my, hey, my mom, my mom is like very like picky when it comes to people like she compliments. And when she went to Toronto, she even was like, the people there are beautiful. Have you been to Toronto? No, I, I haven't. Go. 
Let's go. Let's do it. I'm telling that, you that trip. You gotta go. What trip? That um, you texted me like a month ago. Oh, that festival. So I researched that festival and it just didn't seem worth it, just because of the organization and production. And regardless, still go to Toronto. That place yeah. is amazing. Yeah, let's go to Toronto. Let's Who's, go. Let's go to yeah, Toronto. Let's go. I'm down. Hey, I'm down the though. food here is good. Hey, we got, hey, I know she down to go get that lobster mountain. Oh, yeah. The oh, lobster, yeah. The lobster, yeah. The yeah. lobster <laughs> mountain. Yeah, you guys man. are going to set my standard too high and then I can't find a man. <laughs> <laughs> That's the same as when I went to LA and then my friend was driving and he drove us to the first taco place and then we stopped by a second and then he surprised us with the third and everyone <laughs> joked like, well, there you go. You just like set the standard so high. Now Viv can't even find a man. <laughs> Dang. No, if we go, we're getting that lost amount. Last time it was just me and Christian and one of my friends. And we're just literally three of us trying to kill a whole entire lobster mountain. And then we end up going out that night bloated as hell. Tag me. Dude, I would hate that. <laughs> but I'm but no lie, that was the best, what is it, garlic the oh, the salt and pepper lobster? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the best one mm. I've ever had in my life. And it was like fresh. Like that mm. thing was literally like two two seconds away from being like Butcher, they brought it out for you to look Holy at them too. Crap. They literally bring it out and like they like Christian's like, Do you want do you want to take a picture with them? They said, Yeah. Christian Lee grabbed both of them, <laughs> took a picture with both the lobsters, and then they literally took it back and they cooked them all for us. Hey, this time, oh, how about we how about you just do it on like on a Sunday? You get the food on a Sunday. I'm not gonna get it in it. We, we get, I mean, if you don't want to go be bloated, I'm saying people don't want to be bloated, they can just, we can just go on a Sunday. So you can be as like, bloated as hell on the plane like this. Yeah, because then you're here, you're there Friday and Saturday, and then you end up out. Later, because remember when we went to New York, we had that seafood buffet. Mm. Oh, y'all was, was a lot. Y'all was screwed up. I was <laughs> yeah. good. Y'all, y'all was, was cooking. Y'all was messed up. I think Darren and I were like the last there? two no, eating. No, I wasn't there. D- Look, this girl <laughs> and Darren, right? Them, them folk were killing the clusters, oh right? My God, Me the and Jay legs. was just eating the lobsters, right? <laughs> Having a little bit surprised? of this, a little bit of that. These girls literally like, I think, who else was there? Tiff. Tiff, no, I don't think Tiff ate that much. It was, Nia. Oh, Mia, Nia. 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 <laughs> Nia demolished like 40. Lo- oh, he was loved Dar- the oysters. Was Dara there too? No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. It, was, it was only six of us. Nia okay. loved the oysters. Yeah, they was, these folks. Oysters I think, are fresh. It was really fresh. Yes. Like open road fresh. Yeah. They killed like almost like 40 clusters by themselves. Yep. Like, like I was done and I'm still watching surprised? these. Y'all the people... You're the reason why they put a two hour limit on the face. <laughs> they brought out <laughs> one tray and everyone was like, we're, they were full. And they came out, and she was like, I can eat the rest. Her and Darren was like, Oh, yeah, we got this. I'm like, Dude. What and then the you f- know what ended up happening? Darren ended up getting sick. Oh, no. Darren ended up getting sick. And I think who else got sick? I think Tiff got sick too, remember? Yeah. Like food poisoning oh, yeah. ones? I don't know. I think uh, Tiff got sick and I think Darren got sick. And oh, I said, no. You probably got sick for eating for, eating too, for mercury poison or something. <laughs> probably. <laughs> but. Not this girl. She's like, not me. This stomach's a tank. I can deal with anything. <laughs> She's like, I got it. <laughs> let me uh, let me ask you. When you talk about like the boys are more attractive, you said in L- L.A. Yeah. What is it about L.A. boys compared to New York boys compared to D.C. boys? I don't know. Well, D.C. boys, like I've known different groups for a long time because I've lived here, so it's not it's not like they're unattractive. It's just like. Majority of them have been ran through by different girls that I've known. I feel like the DC boys want to be like New York Cali boys. So they they kind of just copy their style. Um, I feel like California, like a lot of people are out and about. Like they don't work. So I feel like a lot of them care about their looks. So they're like in the gym 24-7, care about what they wear, their appearance. New York is more like... Fast paced money, you know, so they don't really care what they look like as long as they got the money. Oh, I, I think DC is kind of a mix of that. Like, that's why I moved up here. Better, faster paced environment. I never thought about the New York one. Think about it. Like, if you have money, right? Who cares if you're ugly or not? Yeah. Who cares about what you look like? As long as you got the money, girls will flock to you. California, like, looks all what they're going for, you know? This- this is in my experience of New York <laughs> versus like LA and New York. The guys try to act like they don't act like but they like they stand in the corner like this and they're like thugging it. They I think thug there's two. Like, I think there's different types. All right, all right. There's yeah. the, that's like that's like one. That's there's like, like one, one star. They like they're over the corner thugging it, or it's like a circle of just dudes it's like just going ham. Which you know what guys do that everywhere. And then in in LA, I don't know. I I don't know. It's almost like the guys are the same. They act the same yeah. in LA and in DC. Everybody posts up. Everyone yeah. posts up. Everyone yeah. goes hang with their boys. Yeah. For girls, I don't think is 
any difference when it comes to like how they dress at all. Maybe the maybe maybe New York girls might dress like a little more like. I feel like they're dressed more like designer. Yeah. Yeah. Posh. Yeah. 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 As a Cali girl, like they're more free flowing kind of. Yeah. They were like going out clothes more like. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's more similar to New York. I mean, no more similar to DC versus New York. Yeah. Girls will wear more upscale stuff. Yeah. Like yeah. stylish yes. stuff. Yes. I'll actually see Slight a girl elegant, in, a, in yeah. a blazer. I'll see a girl in a blazer yeah. or like some, some like uh, some slacks, like yeah. workwear pants and stuff like that. What do you think, Viv? What's your comparison like? But, bef but before you start, there is one. There is one universal truth when it comes to New York, L.A. All ninety percent of the guys wear black shirts and gold chains. <laughs> all the Kevin Newens of the world, y'all gotta switch up your style or something. Man, I do not own a gold chain. Oh, thank God. <laughs> but you own a black tee. Everyone owns a black tee. What type of question is that? <laughs> it's an essential for a reason. <laughs> but do you wear often? Nah. I wore one this past weekend though. Oh, you did? I did. But you had like a neon jacket though. No, no, actually it was a wife beater. You wore a wife beater out? Yeah. I, I swagged it up though. Oh my god. Yo, she be hating on wife beaters. Yo, it's it's kind of fresh. It's fresh. It's it's like nice oh, and breezy. Oh. And like it just feels nice and because all right, at least I'm graduating from nothing underneath my shirt. <laughs> and you know what? It takes a bold man to rock a white beater. Imagine like you being like extra tubby wearing a uh, white beater out there. I mean, there's some people who do that. I do. I do the cheat code, man. You like pull the pants up slightly, and then also, you like you so do like the, a high waisted. You do the double flap over so the belly. Like, oh, you were talking yeah, about us being yeah. high waisted before. Hell yeah, that's. I, I <laughs> hey, like, hey, anything a girl can do, a guy can do too. On the social dating apps, girls be lying too with the with the filters and angles and stuff like that. Guys can lie about their height if a girl's lying about their appearance. True, hey. it's it's rough out here. Hey, those those <laughs> high waisted pants though, they they also make people look taller. That's why you just gotta take. Going swimming that on first date. Because that one photo on my Instagram, I look taller than I actually yeah. am. Yeah. Because the high waisted pants, they make you look tall as hell. <laughs> Just think so about yeah. I got some joints up. I look like daddy long legs. It's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're already tall. Yeah. <laughs> think about it this way. Women, y'all use, y'all know all your angles. Y'all taking your the best pictures. Y'all got like a thousand pictures. And you only picked like the six best ones with the best angles of you. And y'all use filters. Not everybody, but they use filters. And you're going to make on. Some girls do, yeah. I have seen guys use filters now. Like, it's... They have to. They try, they're just trying to keep up. Trying to compete out they're here. They're trying to keep up. That's I think what, it's cringy. I appreciate it when they go natural more. Just, you know there are guys that literally like, have full-on photo shoots just for their dating profile apps? No, I did not know that. I, I, I just found out recently. That? Like, guys, some guys do that. They'll get, like, a full-length photo shoot just for their dating profile. I mean, at least they're trying. It, it's like transitioning from like trying to figure out which one you are in a group of five people that you post up or like some dudes be posting pictures of them holding a fish. Like, yep. what? Yep. Or yep. They'll, they'll, like, they'll like tilt their head and flex the AirPod on the side. I'm like, like the air, wait, is that really a thing? Yeah. I've seen, what? I've swiped, is it left or right? I don't know. I spent a minute. Which is, I swipe no to like all the guys that kind of like tilt their head and they have, an AirPod in their ear. The flex in the AirPod it's a thing. Yeah, I know, right? I thought that was like a. I thought that was like a meme back I'm in the day. You, it, it is wow. rough. People joked about the AirPod. They, there's a lot of fish in the sea, but all the fish in the sea are very cringe. <laughs> they are very cringe. This is why when people ask me, "Oh my god, like why are you like the single the song?" Like, I don't know, because I don't have time to date, or just when I swipe for fun, I just log out. Like they just don't hit, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, let's go back to that question earlier. You never got your uh, your take on the, the New York, the DC, and the LA boys. What's, what's the, what do you think the difference is between them? Or another city that you like even more? I would say... Throw Miami up in there too, because you've been there a couple of times. I would only, I've only been once, but it's funny because I just booked my flight again. <laughs> 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 for a friend's birthday, for my homegirl's birthday. So, um, I don't know. I'm not crazy, but I am when it comes to traveling <laughs> and trying to take opportunities. But I think definitely location, um, profession plays a part, kind of like bouncing off what uh, Ashley and Jay said. Profession just looks like what you're, who you surround yourself by and then influence. Like California, you have like a certain different vibe. New York, you kind of have that, that elegant or like finance bro working type of vibe. And then DC, you know, like 
we work hard, play hard, just as the other two locations. But it's like a good split, like not too flashy, but not too much like New York either. So DC is a consultant vibe. Yeah. Basically. They're also, you know, it's just like the thumbprint. Just everybody looks the same as a consultant. I've seen on the metros just, I mean, I, I probably look like all the other girls in my work clothes and stuff too. Mm. Are y'all going back to work yet? Are you, you going into the office? I was on site. I was caught on site this morning. Oh. Very For, last minute. First time? Yeah. Well, I don't go unless it's just like an emergency, like on site for my client. So it's mm. either I have to go on site um, to military base or I go on site, office site, like just corporate site. I just go into raid the pantry. You know, if they cater lunch, I'm there. <laughs> She's I always also, talking about food. So, you know, Cinco de Mayo's this Friday. They're doing a taco bar. And I was just like, you going? Reserve. Oh, <laughs> you know, yeah. you definitely go over there. Go I, I make the drive to Bethesda. So, yeah. What you, Lionel? Have you have any experience with uh, New York, LA, DC, or um, any other city? New York, not really. But um, I've been to LA a couple times. I actually live there, like close to LA in West Covina. So, I mean, I have a lot of friends out there, but I don't know. I feel like people in L.A. are more chill, in my opinion. Um, D.C., I haven't really dealt with people from D.C. that much. So I don't have much to say. Mm. But, yeah. Okay, I'll give you my take right now. So, I think that when it comes to, when I think about L.A. and from my experience when I, like, out there, that's the ABG look. Yeah. yeah. LA yeah, is sure. ABG central, right? And I guess it's not for me because I don't like ABG looks. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. I think it's too superficial. No offense. Just Same. my preference. I think because it's not, it's, not, it's not sustainable in my eyes. Like you can only keep that look up for so long. Like you ain't going to be 40 looking like that. You don't like the Some caterpillar Some still lashes, look huh? good. Huh? Some still look good. Yeah, but, but that's... Let's let's be honest. By the time these, these some of these ABGs, by the time they get forty, they ain't gonna be rocking the lashes like that. They ain't gonna be rocking the makeup like that. They got other things to, to do when they're like when they're forty. I think they might still be wearing makeup. They might still be looking good, but they ain't gonna be wearing like that much makeup. And the hair ain't gonna be like they ain't gonna be dyeing their hair and stuff like that. You know? Yeah. I when I dyed my hair, I was influenced by like the California ABG look. It's very it's, like. Yeah, it's it's a nice look. I'm not saying it's a bad look. It's a very like they they do it very well. They're very attractive, just not my flavor, right? Because like I say, it's not very sustainable. It's not something. Like, what if if I'm gonna like pursue a woman, I want her I want her to have a look that's sustainable. I'm like, all right, in ten years, she's still probably gonna look similar to that. And that's why to me, I prefer the New York look because they're very proper. Like Jay said, they go to the clubs. They like dress nice and like and like. Blazer, trendy. It's they, trendy. It's very trendy. They have they have that boss girl look, or they look to have that very like they of of a um what like more of an upscale look that you can sustain. Like yeah. as you get older, you right. make more money. You buy you buy like nicer stuff. Yeah, they, you can keep that look. And they don't do the whole like crazy makeup and everything. It looks yeah. like it's very natural. Like I I like I like I like my women with dark long hair. Of in New York, that's what they got. It's, I think it's because, like I said, like you said, you said that they busy, they on their stuff. They, they, they are, yeah. You know, they don't got time to do that. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's just a that's just the look that I like. I yeah. like a nice natural look. I like a, I like my women looking like like wine. They can look better with age. Yeah, I'll say it like that. All right, Mister Man's a poet over here. No. <laughs> I think it's like difference between like girls and guys though. Like the guys in New York to me, they look like fobs. Like I'm not into that. Okay, I can see that. <laughs> like okay, in international students and stuff, and they just fobby fair. as hell. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. So like Cali, Cali got the like the boy look, the boy guys. You know? <laughs> It's just for guys though, like. <laughs> but you do realize in New York, they're known for like every guy being in New York basically being a boy too. I mean, yeah, you, everywhere you go is there's boys. Everywhere you go, there's girls too. That's not even. That's not even play. Yeah. It's just a vicious cycle of hurt people hurting people. Basically. <laughs> but and then like let's let's bring it back to DC. What's what's my opinion of DC girls here? 
Ah, uh, man. Just, just about to tread real carefully. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to tread really carefully what I say right now because I don't want to get like crucified or canceled here. I think that that when it comes to DC girls, it's what I think was it you. It's a little mix of both. It's oh no, you said that. It's a little bit of mix of both, but I think that <sighs> don't want to get canceled here. <laughs> it's a judgment free zone, guys. I think that when it comes to LA and New York, it's just easier to talk to people, talk to women. Yeah, it's for sure. It's a lot easier here in DC. It shouldn't be this difficult. It should not be this difficult to basically talk to a, to a woman. Yeah. And I think that what it comes down to is a, it's a simple supply and demand. Out in LA and out in New York, there is there is more supply. Ergo, the demand is less. All right, here in DC, I think that's his like not that saying there isn't beautiful women. There's equally as beautiful women here, but there's just less of them. So there's more competition for them. Ergo, they are more entitled where you have to work a little harder. Yeah, that is fact. That's fair. I've seen it even, you know, as a girl, just even as friendship perspective too. I had a similar conversation with my other friend, you know, if I'm out of, you know, Arlington or DC. You know I me, mean? like I'm always very friendly or the table next to me will like talk to me even like a complete stranger. But some like if we're mingling like the same similar group in the middle of the night, I'm not going to be weird and not say anything. I'm going to say hi. But even in my experience, there's so many girls that are just very cold and, you know, I feel snobby. like they're very like stuck up, very clicky. Yeah. Like if Whether you try or not to make, like, because friends. of their shy or not, like my experience, they'll kind of look intimidating, kind of stare you off. And usually a lot of girls, they don't want to initiate first. And then for me, I I went out of my way and I was like, oh, hi, I'm Vivian. What's up? Immediately, they smile and they warm up to me. And they're like, oh, my God, hi. Like, I'm so-and-so. And then immediately, like, became friends. So it's that, too. So I see it. I definitely see it. I say, like, girlfriends-wise, too. Like, even when we're traveling, like, Miami, L.A., like, girls are even more friendly. Like, oh, my God, like, you look so, like, you're you so beautiful. So good, yeah. yeah, like, they'll, mink, like, interact with you as, like, homegirls and stuff versus, like, in D.C. Like, it's very very rare or even in specific bars that you go to like i've witnessed it it's yeah like they'll look you up and down and they'll like make this face and you're just like yeah like okay. if i <laughs> i'm very simple when i go out like i'll go out no name brand no nothing mm -hmm. and i've gotten stared down and judged mm, or because of you know like at first glance then well you know i think we're all saying is that we need to move yeah. Basically. <laughs> wait, why'd you, wait, I want to ask you, Lana, why'd you, why'd you come back from LA? We're talking about leaving here. You're like, nah, this is nice. Uh, my family moved over to Virginia Beach. Okay. So, yeah, I lived there for the past, well, I lived there like seven years ago. Okay. But then, yeah, I'm trying to be closer to them now, so I'm going to move here. Okay. Yeah. Wow, family, man. Mm. I, I will, respect it. I will say this. I think that when, now that I think about it, Going back early when you said that when we are traveling, we're in a different city, the energy is different. So when we out there, we just having fun. We look like we're having more fun. You know what I'm saying? That's I just thought about when we the back in the old parking sound check days, everybody's like posted up, you know, yeah. everybody it's like it's literally like like a, a manhood measuring contest out there, if you think about it. You know, you know what I mean? And we never partook in that. Just kidding. Right, but, <laughs> but like everybody, everybody's on their like, everybody's on their best behavior. But yeah. whenever we're traveling and nobody's around us, you just like, the energy is different. You're having more fun. And I think that people can see that. And they're and like, ooh. Who's exactly. that? Exactly. And I they're think that fun. as women, they see that like, ooh, who's that guy? Yeah. He's having a lot of fun. I want to be part of that fun. So I'm going to talk to him. That's yeah. facts. That's, that's what I think. Yeah. I think that too. I will say, I know we joke about moving out of here all the time, but I feel like, you know, this area is great, like for career wise, like for friends. And for me personally, like as much as I joke about moving to California, I think the grass is just greener wherever you water it. And even mm -hmm. if you move somewhere else, you're going to run, you say you want to avoid certain problems here. You want to, you want to experience something new, but when you move somewhere else, it'll just be. What, like what did I say before? Like different, like same people, different faces. So mm, it's yes, just what basically. you make the most out of where mm -hmm. you're at. I feel like people, you know, want to explore different places, but then eventually they always move back to their hometown. True. I mean, this is a great location. You know, it doesn't really, it's not far from LA or New York, you know, even rent wise, professional yeah, career, 
group like types of people and stuff so honestly i'm just a little biased because i've lived here all my life <laughs> i've only been here for eight years so so would you would you move where would you move new york baby that's what i'm talking <laughs> I she agree. knows. It's cause, but I feel like, <laughs> would you, do you have family or anything there or you just, you just like New no, York? No, I like the vibe there. You know, everything is close knit. So like, you don't have to travel far. You don't have to drive anywhere. You can take the subway. I've never really saw the appeal of California, to be honest. Like it takes two hours to drive 40 <laughs> minutes for one thing. Yeah. I think the only thing California really has is like the beaches Mm -hmm. really but like new york has everything think about it like they have the skyscrapers there's a lot of things to do definitely a lot of food to try if you're a foodie you know they have clubs as well and if you get bored <laughs> there's Picked upstate new york for you to relax in i'm a i'm definitely a beach and suburbs girl like i don't like traffic so if i were to go to california i would pick somewhere you know see yeah like oc or san diego somewhere more like Go join, your, uh, go join your go join your um your Vietnamese brothers and sisters out oh there. God, there's so many idiots out there. No <laughs> see, <laughs> literally, oh, there's so many. <laughs> it'll be like, like Bunsen like every home. day. Yeah, it'll be like a second home for you. I mean, true. I mean, it's so different here. California does win for Vietnamese food, though, in my opinion. Yes, my mom just went to Houston. I almost got tempted. They, my aunt tried persuading me, like, do you want to go for like a weekend, forty hours, just to eat Viet food? And I looked at flights, but it was too expensive. So, but my mom came back and she said the Viet food was just overrated, was just not good. Like the buffet was nice to try because so much var like variety, but she didn't like it. Hey, I'm trying to go to Houston. It's just time to share. For the girls let's make it happen. or what? Let's make it happen. Houston, Austin. Let's make it, let's make it happen. Um, I, well, I have my homegirl right. owning some places. So if you're watching. I'm not, a, I'm a, y'all can go to Austin. We did that once. Yeah, we don't. Austin is not worth going, man. It's really? not. It's no, really it's not. not. Right, never mind. It's okay. It's if you want to go, I'm not stopping you. I've never been, so I don't know. But it's very white. I would just visit because I have a friend there. Mm -hmm. That's fair. You, you know what you're gonna do? Let's go to Houston. And you tell her to come to Houston. Dude, that's kind of far. far. It's two hours. Two hours. Two three hours. Is it two? Three yeah. Hours? Well, she owns businesses, so I don't know. If she would have the time for that. Hey, you know, you know, um, Brad down in Austin trying to go to Houston too. So like, you just tell her hitch a ride with Brad. <laughs> yeah. Are you trying to move? Huh? To Houston? He's thinking about it. Houston or Dallas? Yeah, he's, he don't he's know. Thinking, he's thinking he because think about it. He's he's living in Austin. And he's thinking about moving out of Austin to Houston or Dallas. Just tells you how great uh, Austin is. No offense to Austin. All they got is barbecue. I will say that their barbecue is it's banging. It's banging. I heard and the tacos. Oh my Not god! Those, mm, so what, so, so what we go? Hey yo, me and Jay checked the flights down to Houston is like two fifty. No, there was there's one weekend literally this coming weekend. Going to Houston like on Thursday was a hundred bucks. No way! I was oh, checking to go this weekend with my family, and it was like five hundred. It was a hundred bucks. Oh, this is last month. We this is like last month when we was like, you know what, me and Jay was like, let's go, let's go to let's go to um Houston for a weekend, and I was like, so be this weekend. I was like one hundred and fifty bucks. Yeah. What I checked to go the same time as my mom, and it was like four hundred, five hundred. So I was like, okay. I want to know what the Houston Asian scene is like. It's all Viet. I've been there. You'd be right at Have home. Have you been there? Uh, I feel like it's similar. There. He just got married to yeah. It's yeah. like all Viets, right? Yeah, it's so literally me. It's all Viets. I feel like it's similar to California, right? Just yeah. all the ABGs. I hear yeah, I hear that like literally in like I think it's OC, um, Houston and this Nova are like the three biggest Viet communities. Yeah. OC for sure. OC for sure, yeah. Yeah, when we were traveling in to New Orleans, we were just like the only group of Asians and our Uber driver was like what Asians are y'all the LA Asians or the Houston Asians? And Dara goes, the DC Asians. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember she was like, the DC Asians, what's that like? And she was like, um, she's like, oh, like you guys work for like the government and stuff, like <laughs> IT. And she turns over to Dara and she goes, yeah, you look like an IT Asian. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, yeah, you look like an IT hacking, uh, IT hacking Asian. Yo, is she calling us nerdy? Definitely. <laughs> no, I mean, like, like, you know, like, nerdy and we look good like i don't know we're <laughs> smart oh, let me rephrase that we're smart and we look good all there right. you go all right speaking of traveling let's go to that do you guys feel that whenever you guys travel with your friends mm -hmm. so like when, we, when we, we go as a group don't you feel that it always either makes it or break or like brings you closer or like like 
pushes you guys away as friends? Like, oh, like you start like after you don't really, like mess with them like that, or like absolutely. It makes you absolutely. closer. Absolutely, absolutely. I've experienced both. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What was what's the one that you, uh, made you guys more distant? Um, I guess just travel etiquette. Um, for instance, like when you're traveling, you want to do as much as you can, explore, eat, you know, do what you can, but you also have to be conscious of not just what you want, but what everybody else wants. Mm -hmm. And then obviously not, you're not going to be able to explore everything. So that's one. Um, and there's a lot of things like, of course, like with any city, you always want to check out the most popular spots to go to because that's, that's what you have time for. And then, so it's just a lot of agreement with that. Mm -hmm. And then if somebody just doesn't do their research, for example, and then just kind of picks a lot of, like if a day is kind of like curated towards what that person plans and it's just not very well researched, that can be like, and it it's not just that time, but it, it's becomes like a habit and a pattern that can, that's kind of held me back with like a person. And then I'm just like, oh, like I would like, I'm not sure, but like, I, I was so excited to travel with this person, but after this, like, I don't know anymore, you know, like, <laughs> into that, second thoughts. I will take a drink of water. Yeah, that. and it's just, like, everything that they wanted to do, <laughs> it's just, you know, I want to try this, and I try that, and it just always, it's just, like, like, catfish, or just a disappointment, and it's, like, very all minor. right, like, we need to start picking different places, like, obviously, your pattern's not working, mm-hmm. and then they, they're, they can be, like, a little stubborn about it, and just not open to changing. Okay. Do you know who she's talking about? Yes, I do. Really? <laughs> That's I why like, I took a sip of my drink. What do you, what do you, what do you think, Who's Ashley? <laughs> What's your two cents? Later. I think you definitely need to go with a group of friends who are definitely down to explore, definitely down to do things, um, definitely have stuff in mind that they want to do. It's not like, you know, you have to stick to a schedule, but it's like it's necessary to find the one friend in your group that is the planner <laughs> mm-hmm. who is excellent at Excel spreadsheets. <laughs> that way you have like an idea of, you know, what you're going to do for each day. I mean, not necessarily you have to do it in that order, but it's like, you know, transportation wise, location wise, stuff that everybody wants to do wise. Like it's all planned out for you to see what you're getting into as opposed to like, I've been on a trip where like, Nobody knew what they wanted to do. And I felt like it wasted a lot of time going from A to B when we could have just mapped everything out, hit what everybody wanted to do. So it's like, I think it's really important to travel with friends who have like similar interests. That way it's not as hard Mm -hmm. for you to like do things. But I mean, of course, like you don't have to stick with your group if you don't want to, like that's not your thing. You can go out on your own too. Uh, I, I thank you so much for saying that. I think yes. that recently, um, me, me and Jay have been doing that a lot because, like, we, I don't know. Some people, when we travel, they would like I said there's different interests, and mm-hmm. it's hard to basically cater to everybody because right. everybody has different interests. Right. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's impossible. So I think is people should really like act on that. Like, if you want to go do something, yeah, you can go do that yourself. Yeah. It's like, no, it's not an offense to that yeah. person. Oh, Somebody, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So, like for instance, like um, that EDC last year, right? Me and Jay don't mess with the music that our that our group messes with. So, like when we like was, the headbang stuff. Yeah, and like me and Jay like to eat. Like we like to try new foods. Right, like, right. Y- y'all know, like right. I'm in Vegas. I'm trying to. I'm on some good food. Like, right. yeah. No offense to y'all. If y'all listening, <laughs> like. They like they like to stay in, chill, which is fine. Yeah, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. That's their flavor. Like, but that works out too. You yeah. know, like you have friends that you know you do your own thing. You come together for one right. like main yeah. event that you want to aim for. For sure. You know, it's like no offense to branch off on your own. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If and you like yeah. plan ahead of time, yeah. Yeah, like they they wasn't really interested in like going out and trying the food scene. Right. Or like these these uh, they went to like right. Costco and bought a whole bunch of food and like cooked at home, which is which is great. Yeah. If that's what you want to do. That's because they don't they don't. Really care like that, yeah. so that's fine. But like we, me and Jay, we was like every day we got up, go got try, some grub, <laughs> got, you know, try a little bit of this, try yes. a little bit of that. You know, I think openness at the end of the day is what's important. Yes, you know, like yes. they probably thought of Costco because it's convenient. You know, you're tired from raving, mm-hmm. but then like for you guys, your preferences. I want like I want to try every food here that I can. Like yeah. I don't care if I'm a little bit tired. You know, like 
it's nothing wrong with either. Well, truth be told, I don't want to go to Vegas and eat hot dogs. Yeah. From Costco. Yes. Right. Yes. <laughs> you know what, you know, I, you know no. what you were basically saying? It's like you got to find people in your group. Like the whole group doesn't have to be on the same yeah. energy, like on the same wavelength. It's just some people got to be on that same energy. Like yeah. some people on the, I'm going to just chill energy. Yeah. And some people on the, I'm here to do everything energy. You know, right. I they want, the, they want the Excel spreadsheet. I am an Excel spreadsheet kind of guy. Like Jesse and I were like, yo, we got this, 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 yeah. kind of, or we want to yeah. do these things and... But, you know, some people it's not, which is fine. Yeah. It's fine. I think recently, like last year, we had a lot of bachelor parties. Mm -hmm. Me and Jay, we basically had to keep pushing for the Excel spreadsheet. Yeah. Because like, okay, I feel that like, like when it comes to females, y'all are better planners. Yes. Oh, yeah, Like definitely. as women, y'all are better planners when it comes to trips because y'all take more initiative to basically look for stuff to do. Mm -hmm. And like, yeah. I, I want to do this. I want to do that. Mm -hmm. This, that, blah, blah, blah. As guys, guys are more like laid back and Go more like, re, am I right, Lionel? No, you're right. Yeah, guys are, are more like laid back. They're like, you know what? It don't, it don't matter what we do. Just yeah. do as long as we're, I'm with the boys. Yeah. It's yeah. a lot. Yeah. That's, you know. Yeah, that, it's a lot of research. I will say like, as much as I love planning, Excel, like just being organized, being like a type A person, sometimes I'm just researching everything. I'm just like, man, I'm tired. It's just comparing two, like two top restaurants side by side and like trying to pick the right one and not mess up. I'm like, oh, like I'm tired. Like I don't want to be this person. But at the same time, like I do. You, you know what's funny though? Uh, Jesse actually got me to let go of this a little bit because I, I was the same way. Yeah. I'll only be sitting there on Yelp just be like, hey, yo, they got this and this place got this and this place got this and this place got this. And then more recently, Jesse's like, yo, I just, like, just want to try some good shit. I was like, you know what? And like more recently, I thought about that. I was like, either if you pick A or B, it's going to be good. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. matter. Like yeah. even if it's something you've had before, it's, it's going to be good. Like if, it's, yeah. if other people's going to be good, it's going to be good. So like now when I'm looking at stuff, I'm like, this looks dope. Let's just, yeah, yeah, like as yeah. long as you can come back options. And, yeah. yeah, you can come back and try the other place. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's because it's, it's the aging you, in you where you're like, there's only one right answer. Well, yeah. you're also there's scared. Right it's like that responsibility of picking like a, a decent food place because you don't want to like go and like get disappointed because it's like catfish or it ends up being like overrated and just like everyone's like, oh man. Just go to both. Yeah, problem solved. That's just that's just what I did there. <laughs> nice. I do that in New York all the yeah, time. Yeah, I just it's go like, to both. Get a little snacky yeah. snack here and a little snack there. You have to like split there. little appetizers and bounce. One time, I spent twelve hours in New York with my cousins and we hit twelve food spots. Mm, I like that energy. I need that energy. We would map life. out like each like each neighborhood and then like we're like all right, these are the places we're going here for like savory desserts and then we would like book it up here, go back down, like, yeah. yeah. That's why I think New York is better because it's everything is close by. Yes, and I th you think about it, in LA, you want to go to this food spot, you got to go here in like 40 minutes over there. Over there, yes. And you got to go 40 minutes over there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's why for LA, like whenever I go to California, I designate like, one whole day to like a certain part of California. Yeah. Like yeah. I'll get the shopping out of the way first because you know, nobody, nobody wants to go shopping on the middle of a Wednesday. Yeah. yeah, you're in and you're out, super easy. You're in and you're out, and then like a whole day is dedicated to like the OC area where you're like going from Viet restaurant to Viet restaurant, but you're also like going to the beaches there too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about you, Lana? Is that is that is that accurate? Basically, when like, if you want to, if you just want to get food one day and you want to try multiple spots, it takes you a while to get from point A to point B, right? Yeah, it does. Like for example, like Tokyo, it's kind of like New York, but sometimes I'll just like walk around and I wouldn't. I can't even read it sometimes. I'm just like, yo, I'm going to try this. Like, whatever. And then I'll be, like, looking at the menu. I can't read it. I'll just be like, yeah, I want that. that. And then I try it, and it's bomb, man. Like, and yeah. I, like, pin it on my, like, uh, Google Maps or something. Yeah. So. I think the big thing was what Jay was talking because like Jay was always always be like I only want food that I can't get in Nova. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, yes, I never yes. eat Korean food in LA or New York. But see, I... I I I'm used different. to be like that. And then Jesse yeah. did something to me recently. We, I was like, oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, exactly. So I've been telling Jay, it's like, bro, it doesn't matter. Because like, yes, you say, oh, okay, there's a lot of Korean food in this area. Mm -hmm. But what if there's Korean food in this area or somewhere else, but it just tastes better? It right. don't matter, right? Right. So that's why like, I've been saying, I've been trying to tell my brother and like some friends, like, it, we don't have to get something you can't get here in Nova. Like, it's okay to go get sushi. Like, when we go to Vegas, yeah. we're going to get some sushi, okay? I'm going to go, I'm going to be at that sushi joint and I'll be eating that sushi even though I can get sushi five, two minutes down the road. Yes. Why? Because <laughs> that sushi is dank and it makes my tummy happy. Just be careful before drinking because raw food don't cook well with alcohol. Like some oh, I ain't drinking. Hey, hey, good thing I ain't drinking. <laughs> I, ain't drink. hey, I experienced it after that Vegas trip, and I never made it out to the club on Saturday. Good thing I don't drink Damn. like that. Yeah. 
Good thing I don't drink like that. I, I think the two times I've been to Vegas, I have not made it out to a club on a Saturday. So <laughs> <laughs> third time Honestly, is charm. Honestly, the two times <laughs> I've been to Vegas, like I've never eaten anything in Vegas. <laughs> it was just a... You you want a you know on a on a diet uh, of spend, on, on bender a, diet. a special bender. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Wait, you, you are going to uh, Vegas with the, all of us, right? Yes, two weeks Vegas. <laughs> oh shit! Dang. But are you going? Yeah. Oh damn! And then, and then I take the red eye back, and then what two day, days later, what, what day? What day are you going? Out. What okay. days are you going? Wednesday to Monday. Monday. Yeah. Monday. What time? What time is your flight out? Red eye. You have a red eye flight. Mine's, is, just, is, ours is at midnight. Is yeah. Red, is red eye yeah. really late? Hey, y'all, y'all want to go to Bacchanal with us? No, we we're has, going to Bacchanal. We're going Friday with Dara and Rihanna. Oh. You, you want to switch this Monday? We're going like Monday. We have a reservation at 3.30. I can check because I think I put six people down and then it'd be like a cancellation charge. Because it, it's tricky because I think Sunday flies out earlier. I don't think. Wait. You, Unless I get people sub to substitute in. It is a cancellation because it's close. It's a cancellation if you reserve six people and above. Oh, I don't think I've reserved. I should check. I you feel like five. we can find people in our group to fill in. If I'll, I'll look into it. How okay. many? Did we, how many? Did I think we, you did five, five or six. I'm not sure which one. Under five, it's free uh, cancellation. But six and above, I think it's twenty five dollar fee for every person. That doesn't that, show up. Yeah. I'm the wrong person to be taking the buffets, yo. I can't do all you can eat. Hey, I'm, I'm not a small smart. I'm just gonna let you say. I'll, I'll let you know. I'm, that's why I'm going on Monday. Yeah. Everybody wants to go on a Friday. No. I'm going for a Monday for a yes. reason. I'm gonna keep that. Well, I think, nice I, think we I, make, I can eat more. We oh, eat, true, true, true. We did true. Friday because I think I think kind of early because then we have time to digest it before we go out because I don't think we're going. We're not planning for EDC Man, for some of us. But Dara and Brianna, I mean, staying until Monday. They're leaving Sunday. But quit playing. You know, if you go to that buffet, you're going to be bloated as hell leaving. You know, okay, so I will say, <laughs> dude, I, went, regardless. I went to a bachelorette trip and we had Wicked Spoon. And then I put on, I had like a bikini picture after. I still look good, so. It's because you know your ankles. I also was hitting the gym like yeah, but pretty I'm, heavily. I'm, I'm just saying, I'd rather go on a Monday when the festivities are over. That's true, that's and true, I can that's just, smart. And I could just relax. That's smart. And I can just eat. And eat and eat myself into a coma. I know? didn't think about that. I feel like for me, after like an event, I'm just like, I just want to go home. Like, take me home. But you're also the most famished man. I have to think about it. Every time we go to a festival or something like that, the next Monday, you be eating like crazy. Yes. No, I'd be too tired to eat. What? Yeah. <laughs> I'd be chugging water like crazy. It, yeah, I'd be buffeting <laughs> I'd be every time. Tired to <laughs> eat. She, I remember I remember we went to Moonrise like a couple years ago and we went to that blue that was that blue moon cafe. We ever I, got like an appetizer yeah, and an I entree. Down, like, <laughs> I down three I'm down to think of French toast, the uh, the the the, the kitchen uh, sink. They had some called the, the kitchen uh, sink. The or hot mess or whatever it's yeah, called, yeah. basically the crab cakes and all that stuff. Ooh. And I had me a cinnamon bun. <sighs> oh, and, There's yeah. so much food to try. I think I saw like a Ube brunch place in Vegas too and I was like oh. there there is one there's Ube Cafe yeah. Cafe 86 we went there last year no there's one that was like a it was like a Ube French toast breakfast spot so it's not just it's like your normal breakfast food and then they have like Ube specialties too it's not just like the bakery I'm no. down because I tried Cafe 86 in LA I didn't really like it I thought it was not as maybe I'm food. impartial because they give us free stuff yeah or maybe it's different in free Vegas tastes better. Like different yeah. locations yeah. probably yeah. Okay, so basically, what it comes down to is, <laughs> when, you, when you're traveling, it's all about the food. Yes, basically, the food makes you happy, man. If you maybe happy, for you our have a group, good time. but maybe I another could, yeah. group, it's like something else, like the clubs. <laughs> that is true. That is true. I, I can, I, you know what? I think that you are completely right. because, like, like uh, we have friend groups, but all they want to do is drink, and you know, like me and my brother aren't really heavy drinkers like that. Not you know, and same. like they, they would, they would be going off and do their drinking thing, whatever. But then we're like, all right. Like uh, when we went to Puerto Rico last year, right? They was uh, there's not, like they they wanted to drink, but like yeah. me and my brother, we don't really drink like that because I'm a lightweight. Yeah, if we, if I drink like that, I'm a black yeah, out. Exactly. If I drink exactly, like, like, <laughs> every time. I, they, they like they like get up and they start they start going in. I start like that. I'll be I'll be dead by 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 three o'clock. Yes, I'll be yakking. I just, so I just like we literally just went off on our own. We got some food, you know. Try a little this. Try a little that. We I met up later. Yeah, I think that like it's just really important when you're traveling to find like at least one person to do something with. Because I've been on a trip where like the person like basically like ditched me and we had no plans to do anything. And that was probably one of the worst trips of my life. What's wrong with what's wrong with just going solo? OK, well, like I, it was my first time on the West Coast and I wanted to do it with somebody like I cared about. Uh, yeah. I can see that. 
I, I'm not gonna lie. I be, I be I've been taking. I take um, solo trips to New York all the time by myself, just chill, mm -hmm. get some good food, and then just come back. That's when, like, when I first started traveling, and like when you first start traveling, it's like it's a lot to take in, you know, like you want to go to like all the right places and you want to tr like travel with somebody who's been there so they can show you the right places. You don't want to be scrambling to find like what restaurants are the best, what are the greatest things to do there. So like when I went to the West Coast on my first time, like I thought I was going with somebody, you know, who was down to do a lot of stuff, who's been to California all the time, like can show me the right places, but you know. That didn't happen. <laughs> I feel like I know who you guys talking about. Me too. About. <laughs> so I'm like, is he allowed to do And to that, I'll drink. My drink. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm just letting you guys know. If you guys haven't been experienced to it, solo traveling is awesome because if you solo travel, you completely eliminate the whole entire factor we have to think about anybody. You can be 100% selfish in doing anything you want and everything you want. And that's oh, yeah. why... I personally, like me personally, I want to take a solo trip to like Europe by myself and just be able to do anything that I want to do. I feel like it's easier for guys to do solo trips than girls because it's yeah, that's true. safer. That's true. Oh, but I sure. did a solo trip to uh, Joshua Tree last year and it was one of the best trips ever. Exactly. Yeah. Normalized solo trips. I've done it a little bit, not like a full solo trip, but I've flown out like a day or like a, a half day before everybody else. And I've enjoyed it, but I think why I love group traveling so much is like i can't just i want to try like five different dishes and i can't just eat all <laughs> five things that is so not, true not to round back to food but like in cancun you know i was trying to order like three different taco styles and then they were like so i ordered all three and they're like ma'am each taco entree comes in three tacos and i was like i know <laughs> <laughs> But I also got like a low tape. Hey, you know what? It, it's it was all it was all paid for, so they can't say nothing. Yeah, I was like, I mean, I'm already here. Like, what else? When else am I gonna get the opportunity to try it? So I do agree with the splitting stuff. The more people you have, the more stuff you can split. Yeah, but, I don't want to yeah. be too stuffed. I want to enjoy different little things. Yeah. This is another thing Jesse also told me recently. You don't gotta eat it all. Yeah, you don't gotta you eat. You don't it all. gotta eat it all. Yeah, you can like. That's why like I, I'm with you on that. I like I when I travel, I want to go with people who's down to try more than just one, like just a couple of things. I'm a, yes. I want to get fucking everything. All right, we're traveling next because the last time I was in LA, my friends hated me because we went to f like five restaurants in one hour. Oh yeah, see I don't. See, uh, was, I, I had like the best that. time of my yeah, life. That's tight. <laughs> I prefer that. She's good. Like when, when I be going to New York, man. Look, I I will give me some breakfast. Then I hit like six bakeries. Yes. Yes. I hit like six bakeries. I don't care that I just went to a bakery. I'm just going to another yeah. bakery. I used to do that even here, like during when everything shut down. During COVID, there's no traffic. I was just traveling, exploring different bakeries. I kid you not, I probably spent $85 on like croissants and tarts. Just hey, hey, guess what? Yeah. Hey, let me tell you something. Money comes and goes. You can always yeah. get more money. Guess what? You can, you can never get more time. Yeah. Or every croissants. time every time you use is le is one less time you ever have to spend. <laughs> or croissants. Yeah, I enjoy those little things like that. I just Croissant. don't have Croissant. as much time anymore. But if I did, I would just be at the gym and exploring. Yeah. And croissants. Cafes and croissants. bakeries and I don't and think stuff. I can do... I mean, I've been in New York like solo a lot, visiting my New York friends and stuff like that. But like food-wise... I can't finish all the food. You don't got yeah. to. You don't got to. Dude, legit, Jesse and I went to Rodeo 99, <laughs> and right after, we went to Quan Mi, and we got two full-course entrees. One more time, we went to LA, and we each got, like, four different things for each Yeah, it's all yeah, good. But, but yeah. if you think about it, we finished everything that yeah. day. Well, it's because I was with you guys, but, like, if I was with myself, like, knowing me, I'd be, like, each different stall, I'd get one thing, but then I would eat, like, four bites and then be like well fuck. like what am i gonna do with all this food well it's a good thing <laughs> well, guess what when you roll with me you don't gotta worry about that they having exactly <laughs> yeah i will like i will say i think one time years ago i would go out to eat with like some of my guy friends and we went okay not to mention tacos again i'm so sorry but <laughs> we went to bar taco and i think we each had like 11 each and he had one left and he was full I was just kind of sitting there, you know, just like... You gonna eat that? Like, yeah, I was like, you gotta eat that? He was like, all yours. <laughs> She's just circling it. She's just like this around. All right. Before we end the episode today, I do want to ask you guys a question from both the guys and the girls. We'll go ladies first. On that note, 
you said that like you're gonna eat that. When you go on a date with a guy, are you guys eating, eating, or are you guys on your best behavior eating? Oh, I'm eating, eating. Like I don't, like I don't. I mean, I'll be like not gross, you know, like be smacking my mouth. Like the and white stuff. chick scene. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you know what I mean, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, I don't like seriously enjoy my food. Like, what you guys have seen me eat is no different than me on dates. That's good. You know what? You a real one for that. <laughs> All right. What, what about what about you? I'm the same way, but mostly like whenever I go on dates, it's more like conversation wise. Like, we'll eat, but like it's more so like the conversation CV vibe mm-hmm. and stuff like that. I'm, I'm not, be like food and stuff. I'm, like, not, mm-hmm. I'm not. I'm not even talking about. I'm, not, I'm talking about <laughs> just pure eating habits because. I'll explain. Every time I go on a date with a girl, I like I like dinner dates because you know because we we fat we fat people like to eat. Okay, garbage, <laughs> garbage disposal. Yes, all right. So I, if I'm go, I like them dinner dates, yeah. right? Because I'm trying to eat some good stuff, right? And I'm yeah. eating. Okay, I, I'm not home back. Of course, like you know what? I'm I'm covering my mouth. I gotta say something. Like yeah. you ask you a question, I'm gonna cover my mouth. Yeah. Like yeah, I'm, let, me, let me let me let me finish chewing yeah. this real quick, and then I get back to you, right? But I've always noticed that every girl is always like eating. Eating like a pigeon. Salad. <laughs> no, 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 not, 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 not eating like, like a this salad. This food is not going cold. Like they're picking at it. Yeah, they're like, oh, like, picking at it. like no. you can, like, come no. on. We, we, we all seen guys eat. We all, y'all seen guys eat. Yeah. I, we've all seen girls eat. Like I've been around this girl when she eats. Like this, she, she don't open the Yeah, you like, you, like, <laughs> and no. you could definitely tell in the girls. She's like on her best behavior, like eating like. Covering her mouth, making sure she cover her mouth, like covering her and all this stuff and chewing and everything, getting like small bites. Yeah. I'm like, in my mind, I'm thinking like, why are you being so proper? Just eat like a normal person. Yeah, no, I think for me, my eating style is the same whether I'm on a date or whether I'm out with friends. Yeah. yeah. And, and I will say, I think I, I think I, I actually like the woman more. Well, she can be herself the way if she could eat like a normal person because yeah. it shows that she's being herself and she's not trying to like impress you, yeah, or, like, hold back. Yeah, because eventually like, she'll, you know, like just resort to yeah, eating me, the way she does. Yeah, yeah. let me let me see it all. Show it to it me. All all emerges, it all emerges. It all surfaces. That, she uh, like burps on her first date. I, saw I some, do it. I saw, I, I saw I'd some, be like, my bad, I got a fart. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. I saw some TikTok. No, they were like, yo, at the beginning of the of a of a, like a relationship, where when you talk to someone. The girl brings home the, the leftovers. When you leave, the girl she's eating your leftovers. <laughs> Cause like they, this is the one eating your leftovers. Yeah, like, 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 like you're the not, restaurant. Yeah, you're not eating your own food. Like she's eating your whole meal, basically. Where the girls like you at, man? I need find. I need to go on dates with those girls. Know. Wait, girls what about you? Can eat, what about you? Yeah, what you think? Jesse. Oh, I just be eating. You be like, oh, you like that? Oh, yeah, you don't. I mean, yeah. I do. Like, for the, <laughs> I'll be like, we're there for the food. Yeah, I'm. I love food. So, what's your favorite food? Top three. Top three? Top three. How about this? Top two spots when you were in LA that you were like, I would go back just to try those top two spots. And then where other else you've been? It's always those underground, like those like hidden like taco spots, like in SoCal. <laughs> All the time. Yeah. And then I say like, I'm into Islander food. So like okay. in Hawaii, like I always eat poke and acai. It's like, I love that stuff. So. Okay. Have, you, have you been to the restaurant called Broken Mouth? In where? In LA, broken like, mouth. Is it an OC? Uh, no, it's I, I don't know, but it's um it's on Yelp's number one uh, restaurant in America this year. Bro, every oh, single wow. time broken mouth is Hawaiian. Yeah. Every single time we've gone, I would, I'm always like, yo, just let's go, and it's always closed because it has like yes. weird hours. It's yeah, it's the number one restaurant in the country right now on on uh, for Yelp. It's called. Broken I had mouth. Hawaiian food in LA, but I think it was more an OC. I have to look at the name again. I feel like Lionel would be picky towards Hawaiian food because he's lived in Hawaii. Mm. <laughs> well, now you gotta take him for he's expertise. Like, he's like, this mochiko chicken. I'll be like killing it and be like, it's all right. It's all right. This mochiko chicken ain't right. It's not, it's not crispy enough, bro. Send it back to the chef. Yeah, I mean, if it's all right, I'm still gonna eat it. True. Jay, <laughs> would you uh, want to uh, say anything about like the. Uh, what you call when I talk about like the girl, girls how they eat so proper? Do you have you experienced that on dates? Yes, a hundred percent. It happens every time. People always have more leftovers. Like you're like done, you're eating their meal, and they have like the whole plate, and they just nibble on a corner. You're like, what the heck is going on? But then you know for a fact. I know girls leave leftovers, but they don't leave that much leftovers. It's not the whole meal. Like I see how girls eat. Like, yeah, of all shapes and sizes. Like, I would, yeah, I would say this is not a turn off. Like yeah. it's not it's, it's, it does not make me like not want to see them again or not want to continue talking to them. It's just kind of one of the things like 
Why can't you just be a normal person? But hey, that's low key why I feel like sushi dates are good because it's like yeah. you can't. Because like, I feel like part of it is like girls don't want to pig out and look like a pig, so they were like they're eating, they're trying to look proper, so they're not like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, I like the same thing. They're like eating I their mouth like too. Sushi is also like really refreshing and like you don't get really bloated afterwards. Yeah, either. true. Have you seen those where they're like some of the sushi rolls, like the IG jokes, or like you? try to fit the whole roll in your mouth and it's just as bad as like i'm one of those girls who try to put the whole roll. yeah in i mouth. just eat the whole thing Same. yeah well i think it could be a lot of factors if why they're picking out their food it could mm -hmm. just be like you know if they're lactose they don't want to be bloated or cheesy or they don't want like mm -hmm. garlic or onion breath oh, if they, you have like other like activities his. after like oh that other activity no, and, oh. 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 Activities include, you know, like movies, golfing, wholesome, or other activities, you know, just okay. putting it out there. Or maybe she's just really enjoying the conversation with you. She doesn't have time don't to Don't want eat. garlic bread. Hey, I'm just saying, if I'm going to a dinner date with, dinner date with you specifically, because I'm trying to see whether you're going to be a good foodie, um, foodie <laughs> buddy. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to go get some food together. You know what I'm saying? I'm, well, maybe she's just shy, you know? Yeah, it could be. And just, you already said you don't be talking. You be asking questions. So maybe you ask asking a question, and she gives you like a paragraph, and you're like, yeah. you're uh, questioning my whole head. plate. True. I'm like, why does this guy keep talking to me? I'm just trying to eat. I'm just like staring like, True. <laughs> but there got to be a balance between eating your meal and the conversation. No, you are 100 percent correct. Yeah. All right. One last question for everybody. We're gonna go, we're gonna start with you, Jay. Oh shit. I wanna ask you, what is y'all's top three favorite foods? Bro, you don't even know mine. Top three favorite foods. Number one, Thai. Thai food. Okay. Just because you can get like every single flavor. You can get the spicy, sweet, that coconut curry, a little, little citrus, anything. You can get it. Thai food, easily number one. Number two, it used to be tacos, but now I'm like a sucker just for like Cantonese food and like just Chinese food. But I think it's more so like Cantonese food and three is tacos. Just because that's like, you can do anything with tacos. You can make a Korean taco. You can make a, a taco taco. You can like- Breakfast taco. Breakfast taco. You can do so many things with tacos. Number three is just like- Reverse before Ice cream taco. Before, before <laughs> you, uh, you, you, uh, you do yours- did you guys know that um, cheese is not belong on a taco? Yes. Yeah. Yes. On yes. authentic tacos. Yes. It's just so it's long a, yeah, it's a deal. Idea. I know, but a lot of people did not know that. Like I've been telling, like starting to tell a lot of people, like, like you know that that's not a taco. Like, why is it not a taco? Because like, there's cheese on it. Because real authentic tacos do not have cheese on yeah, it. Yeah, that's more yes. like the Americanized yeah, style the of Western tacos. Western tacos. Yes. Yeah. So all them tacos at Taco Bell's are not technically tacos taco bell's not even real hey i love taco yeah. bell still don't hispanic food so you like going to the toilet after one bite no i don't <laughs> i don't ever go to the toilet but i, I love taco bell like there you could take me there on a taco date bell is i would one have of the, the healthiest fast hey, food hey, restaurants <laughs> sliding to ovees d i'm saying try to get taco bell <laughs> i would marry you in an instant Honestly, just, oh. just, I just just hit it with a heart is open late <laughs> <laughs> all right go ahead Viv. top three uh, my top three, one, I would have to say Vietnamese food only because, you know, there's so much variety. You can go for something hearty, you know, you can go for like the curry, something fresh, um, just anything or like a noodle soup. Just there's so much variety um, Two Italian food. I love my cream and cheeses. Uh, three, Mediterranean food. Where's the tacos? Ooh. I would have to say tacos, but this, it was a tie between tacos and Mediterranean. You've been talking about tacos all I know, night. She's the queen of You've been talking about tacos Mexican all food. night. That is the top I do appreciate. I was thinking it was tied between Mediterranean and Mexican because I do love tacos and margaritas, you know. Is it because is it tacos isn't on there because it's not like a it's not like a type of food? Or it's like it's easier for you to access versus the other three. You actually have to like try and work to get them. Versus tacos, you're like, oh, I can get tacos from Taco Bell. I, as much as I love, like I will die over tacos. Um, I overall have like a very healthy eating hap like lifestyle. So tacos, at the end of the day, like it's just very heavy. As much as I love them, like mm. I've made it, like I made it a goal to try to find every authentic taco place in this area. But I've never started that tour because I'm always just trying to like, you know, stick to my eating habits and not discipline. Yeah. That's discipline. Let me ask you something. Is that Mediterranean on there because you love dip? Oh my God. Yeah. Don't get me started. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Mediterranean. Like, Don't get me started. 
started. She's probably like, she I like finished the, a whole tub of dip in two days. She's probably like, see. I want the hummus, the baba ganoush, the, uh, <laughs> the eggplant, the dip. eggplant, the oh feta, the the, oh, the 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 tablet. The table. She's like, yeah, the that's couscous. the only reason why okay. I knew it. <laughs> I'll go last, but Ashley, go ahead. <laughs> Me. I'd say Vietnamese food is probably my number one. Not because I'm Vietnamese, but like Vietnamese food kind of just hits all the flavor notes. Sweet, tangy, sour, spicy. Second is Italian because, you know, I'm always cooking pasta. Any Italian dish, you know, I'm cooking it. Third, I would probably say Korean. I've been eating Korean food a lot lately. I made kimchi jjigae today. (laughs) Okay. Lionel. Um, I want to say Hawaiian food, just like Islander food, like barbecue, like raw fish, all that stuff's good. Um, I don't know, like Mexican food, just because I love tacos. <laughs> it's a tacos common, are so common, good. Common okay. love. And third, I'm going to put, I think Japanese food, just because I've experienced it like firsthand, like in uh, the country. So like soba, like ramen, all that stuff's really good. Can I ask you something? Go ahead. Do you think that the ramen in Japan is wildly better than the ramen here? Not for sure. <laughs> like, so like you, you can't like when you. I'm sure when you're around here, you're like, man, it's not the same. Yeah, I mean, it's good, but it's not the same. That's like asking a Vietnamese person if Vietnam pho is better than. Pho I mean, here. is it? I don't know. I yes, don't know. Yes, it is, and it's also a dollar twenty-five for a bowl. <laughs> What's uh, you said? Both of you have Vietnamese food. Number one. What's what's your favorite Vietnamese? Like, if you could only pick one Vietnamese like dish ever for the rest of your life, what are you what you picking? Easy, bun bò Oh, oh yeah. that's Easy. mine. Oh, <laughs> that was mine. Yeah. Way. All right. So since, since since you guys said that, what's the best place in this area to get bun bò from? Shameless plug, but also because I want to know. I have my opinion, but I don't know if it's right. I'm not gonna lie. I don't like any of the BBH in this area except for my mom's. If you were to pick, if you, if I had to go to a rush, if you were, if you if I ask you, I want some BBH right now. Where am I going? There's this one restaurant in Eden with the green chopsticks. I don't know what it's called. You with the look, mirrors on the wall. Yeah, you just look for the oh, mirrors God. and the green chopsticks, and you're there. It's not Hong Viet, right? <laughs> no, it's no. Not. It's in the cut. It's it, in the cut in a inside, different inside, building. Right? Yeah. Wait, is it is it when you when you go into Eden Center, you have that you have the um the hot pot spot. Yeah. Right? And then, you know, it's like, the, uh, you know how it's like. You have it's the super- in that shopping center. Yeah. 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 The supermarkets like over here. Yeah. And you've got like, what, uh, what is that? Uh, bamboo over here in yeah. this corner. You go, it's like over here, right? Yeah. I so like, it's, it's around there. the corner from like Mango Mango. Really? Yeah. Super yeah, yeah. spicy. Sandy took us one. She's like, this is the best bamboo hoi. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is. Wait, do you think so too? The- it's yeah, it's super spicy though. Like I remember when I tried it, I was putting ice cubes in my soup. Hey, I like it with some spice. I, I, I like love spice, spicy. but my I like tolerance that pain. is so bad. Wait, I like that pain. I like it spicy. What's something I, I feel like I know what you're gonna say, but what's one via thing that you guys can't get here that you wish was here? That I wish was here. That's tough. That's tough. Me Quang, probably. I don't see that a lot on the menu. Or um, I know snails before, but it's like slowly popping up in certain menus as specials, um, like think, lemongrass snails. I think it's a bun gun with gua, which translates to um, yes, thick definitely. vermicelli noodles with crab. Yeah, it's, it's like soup. udon, like chewy udon. It's a Sounds chewy good. udon <laughs> with <laughs> crab. <laughs> yeah. I like, my, I like my noodles bouncy. She had uh, six yeah. syllables. Yeah. That means that don't got to be good. It's so <laughs> hard. Like I have some go-to places. I had one go-to place for Bumawe, but I think they changed recipes. So uh-huh. that's why I, I didn't say it. I've had, I've doordashed some other places that were pretty decent. I think I do. it was like, okay. Like does it, it's fuh, like, it gets fuh fuh by. Forever. Well, forever has a decent BBH if you like want a quick fix and yeah. your mom's not, you know, down to make it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, nice variety. All right. Yeah. That shit, that, that joint is so good. It's better it's in so Vietnam. It's so rare. Even my mom so barely good. makes it because I think it's just so tedious to prep. Mm-hmm. When Jesse and yes. I went to get food afterwards, that's literally what we went to go get. We went, we went to um, Rodeo. 30, was it? 
99. Know? Then we the, went to Quan Mi afterwards because they had like yeah. supposedly Demi Quang. We so tried good. We tried finding that too, but we just didn't. We just like had oh to cut God. that. We we literally went to Bunseo Boys and then went to like the um the Hawaiian the um the Hawaiian yes, uh, yes. place and we got a whole bunch. Of, we got a whole bunch of food after you finished there. We were like they was like. Dude, I kind of want this food. I yeah. was like, all right. And then we literally drove. <laughs> l- luckily, it was at night, too. We literally drove all the way to uh, that place. In o- we were already on C. It was 20 yeah. minutes away, about. Yeah. And we went to get the, that 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 thing you just said. Yeah. And we got, we said, oh, they have Bun Sayo here, too. Let's, they got let's, squid in there, though. Yeah, like, we're like, <laughs> let's try that. And so we literally got some more Bun Sayo. Crushed it all. I would say Bun Sayo boys probably have, like, one of the most better bun sales I've ever had. That's not crispy. It's I crispy. Bias. It's crispy, but the flavor just lacks. Like I agree with that. Yeah, but the flavor. Like it doesn't crispy, eat, though. Yeah, but it's crispy. the texture is consistent. I think time. I think the place that we went to to get that that, that Quan, what is the place? I think it's Quan Mi. It's called Quan Mi and the yeah. dish was Mi Quang. Yeah. Right? Mi Quang? Yeah. Mi Quang. Yes. Mi Quang. So good. Yeah. I saved some recipes. Maybe I need to start. Yeah. You gotta have it in Vietnam though. That shit banging. Yeah, that Bonseo there was more flavorful, but the, but the texture at Bonseo Boys was better. Yes. Yeah. In my opinion. Yes. No. One hundred percent. All right. Well, back we to go. the Mister Foodie. What yeah, do you yeah, like? Yeah, oh, yeah. I didn't say my, all right. Uh, my top three are Chinese food. Um, I don't really care what type. I I I love it all. You know, because sometimes like. A Cantonese food is good, but I don't like that they don't use spicy food. Mm-hmm. They don't like Cantonese people don't eat really spicy food, so that's why I don't like really Cantonese food like that. But I still like it. I like Sichuan food because I love that that burning pain from that spiciness. It's on that burning. It's called mouth numbing. Yeah, I like that. I like that numbing. So I like that. But that or also your booty hole. But I also like that north that northern Chinese uh, Chinese food, like because um, it's very similar to like Korean too. So I, that's why I love Korean food because I like that yeah. spice. I love how all Korean food is spicy, sweet. And savory all at the same time. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And yeah, I, I love that food. And then third, <laughs> I, I'll say I'll say brunch food. What? Yes, I love eggs. I, when you brunch said food. my favorite Viet food, you already know what I was gonna say. Some with <sighs> eggs. Oh my god! Wait, wait, this is an egg. This is an egg dish. It was like a. It's like jajang. It's like on top of um gum tam. You know, oh. with like the pork chops and there's like the meat, like the meatloaf with like the egg. On top, it's like yeah. a steamed meat egg. That's or it's like, like egg meatloaf. Yeah, or it's like the other that one. That is not my, my mom favorite. Oh, makes. I know what you're talking about. Yes. I know it's, that thing is good. Every year, my mom's like, what do you want for your birthday? And I'm like, something with eggs. It's either that or this like homemade comfort like is soup. The tomato and egg soup, which oh, has. My yeah, mom's yeah. like, that's what you want? And I'm like, yes. Low key, when, <laughs> when it comes to like when you when we go get like, um you get like sushi or not, you go to Nikiti. I love the tamago. What is that? How do you say it? Tamago. It's Tomoko. Tomoko. Damn, you busted out the real. <laughs> hey, you know what? The about real about. accent yeah. with that egg joint. Oh my god, yeah. that egg joint is so freaking good. But yes, I love brunch because the eggs and because I want, <laughs> I want me, I want, the, I want me the waffles, the pancakes, the French toast. I want all of it. The you churros. Want that sweet tooth. I love eggs. Yeah, yeah. I want that diabetes. I want Nutella dripping <laughs> off every corner, and I want that. <laughs> I tell you, like the eggs in Japan though are. Different. Wait, what? Why? why, why you I say don't it? know why they're so different. Like the yolk is very orange, and it just tastes way better. Like when I got back to America, like eggs are just not it for real. They be eating it like raw, raw. Yeah, they eat it raw. Like the chicken out there is like so healthy. Like you can feed like raw chicken to dogs out there, but like here, it's like no, you can't do that. Awesome. Damn. So, Go ahead. I've noticed that like in. Other countries besides America, they don't refrigerate their eggs. That's exactly what I was about yeah, to say. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what. Here say. we refrigerate our eggs, and so it kind of makes me worried that like yeah, our only chickens different. can't compare. Yeah, only in America do we refrigerate our eggs. Everybody else just leaves their eggs out. Yeah, yeah, and then it's just better ingredients outside of here. It's not like five dollars overseas either. They're like a dollar for like twelve for a dozen. Oh, damn. You know? <laughs> you got me thinking about like what is it like is it called tamago gohan or something like that or there was like the oyak oyaka don something like that the like, egg omelet there's like something oh the ones that like it's something like, like the father out. and the son it's like literally <sighs> chicken egg and rice with uh tamari and they were like it's it's like the typical japanese breakfast i've seen that on I ig what they call that but like they call it they call that like a like an energy like food i don't know what exactly but it's good though. Damn. Damn. 
All right. I want to go to Japan now and Vietnam to get some food. Japan right. is the number one destination this year. Is it really? I've been seeing friends left and right going to Japan. It just got open. There was, oh. like a, there was like a deal from if you travel between like a couple of months ago to May, if you buy it solely on points, it would have just been like a few, like $300. Wow. I sent that link. Dang. All right. We're going to Japan. That's what we're going to Japan. We're going to wild out. We're going to get. Um... Yeah, it's my bucket list. <laughs> All right. No. Let's make it happen. Everyone's bucket list. All right. Well, Thank you guys so much for watching. It was a great show with all our lovely guests. Thank you, Lionel, for coming. Thank Thanks you, Ashley. Thank me. you, Viv. And if you got any questions, you want to leave some comments, you want to slide into these girls' DMs, go ahead. To ask them to, to go get some BBH or something or feed this girl tacos and whatnot. <laughs> yeah. Or, to, or, like, like or ask her, hey, let me take you to Taco Bell. <laughs> Open late. Open late. Just like I am. Taco Bell. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, what's, what's their, what's their slogan? What's, what's, their, what's, their, uh, what's their slogan? Have it your way? Oh, you can have it your way. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Wait, anyway. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you all next time. Peace. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.